This week on the most exciting episode of Nerds Who Get Laid Sometimes since the last episode of Nerds Who Get Laid Sometimes. The nerds discuss the new Deadwood film and what this could mean for a decade-old story. They give their opinions on the new shows coming to Disney Play, and they talk a little bit about the current runtime of Avengers 4. As if that wasn't enough, you also get to hear about their weekly nerd-ons, and they answer questions from you, the fans, on the weekly Nerds Who Get Laid Sometimes mailbag. It's a jam-packed episode, so hang on. All right, guys. Would you rather have the power of flight or dicks for nipples? Flight. 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 Ah, man. What's the catch on flight? Nothing. Okay. No you flight. don't have dicks for nipples. <laughs> That's the catch. All right, flight. Man, I don't know why. I thought everybody was going to choose dick for nipples, but I mean, I'm thinking are they about fun- it. But are they functioning? <laughs> yeah, fully function dicks. Flight. Like, are they micro penises? No, no, they're they're, they're, they're big. They're the same size Bigger as yours. than yours. Bigger, Bigger than, than your other one. Yeah. Hmm. Flight. Okay. I figured they would give you stretch marks because <laughs> they'd probably be pretty heavy at that no. point. Flight. I mean, it would be really awkward when you're aroused because your shirt will like shoot well, out. It would also yeah. be awkward going to the to the beach. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I mean, then you could pay a lot of money for people to milk well, you. Can yes. you imagine the chafing when you run? Maybe too. they still mm. look like nipples. It's like how good these it red penises <laughs> that like look like just... Like really, red rockets, really like, like dog like, penises. Yeah. Is that what you're but saying? They're, they're lumpy and this thick. Is getting worse. Yeah. Or like yeah. a pin rose sausage, like the, the pickled sausages. Yeah. Or like oh. when they're not erect, do they all right, go flight. all the I'll way inside? Flight. Oh, like they they hide. That's yeah. that's, that's even so, more of a superpower. So they like turtle inside of you. <laughs> yeah. So if they didn't, I would just hide them in hot dog buns at all times. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have like this rib wiener that's hiding yeah. underneath your skin. Yeah. <laughs> so you're basically just one giant wiener. Is that mm. what it is? So what I'm saying is, you could have. Giant penises on your chest, or you could fly. I mean, come on, flight, flight. That, yeah, was, like, my mind flight. that was like the X Men thing uh, that I posted uh, <laughs> about you know Rogue. Like, I, if they say there's a cure, I want it. And Storm's like, they, you know, we're not sick. There's no cure because we're not sick. And it's like, you know, says the lady who can control storms. Yeah. You know, I'm over here killing people when I touch. <laughs> yeah. You know, and an example they gave it is, oh man, a cure. I'd love to have that. Said Joe Chainsaw Hands. <laughs> so, no, we're not sick. There is no cure. Said Johnny Five Dicks. <laughs> All right, this is Nerds Get Laid Sometimes. sometimes. And uh, we're coming to you hot and live. <laughs> and I'm just rubbing my dick nipples because I don't want everybody to have the disability I have. <laughs> Why would you call that a disability? That's like an advantage. Yeah. That's- I don't know. Damn near a superpower. <laughs> I mean, you did compare it to flying. <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> Everybody looks at it different. I, I think I'd still rather fly. My blessings, your curse. <laughs> well, your you curse. know, different strokes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the hardest well thing. Well played. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was miming masturbating, trying Wait, to do three so would penises. would you orgasm at different times per dick or once at the same time with all of them? I think that could be awkward. I, th- that could I think... Be- Full on, like. <laughs> well, what if it's a centralized system? Like so any dick, that, the... a, any dick that happens, like it's like a main. All, three. all the dicks go. <laughs> it's like I'm, not that, I'm not that. I'm not that worried about like uh, the finishing of sex. Cause sex is wet and dirty anyway. That just happens. I'm more when I gotta take a piss. <laughs> <laughs> like oh, Nathan's you, not into you finishing. You literally have to strip down to piss then. <laughs> but you have to guess which one is coming out of this time. <laughs> I was literally just getting to the push-up position. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> just get in the push-up position in a tub yeah. every just, time. Nathan, why don't you ever use the urinal? Are you worried about something? You, know, you would have, have to crouch down near the urinal, one of those big yeah. ones. You would only be able to use the floor urinals, yeah. the ones that are like from the floor up. Yeah. You'd have, to do, you'd like have a, to do like a weird crouch thing. Well, if it was like a waist-high one, you could probably like angle yourself like the V8 guy or something you like guys, that. You guys, are think, get- you guys are thinking way too hard. You just put your fingers over the dick nipples 
<laughs> they redirect That's like it. a water hose, it just though, main, Mike. It just mainlines it. <laughs> I'll be honest. Mike, no, that'd be more like a water hose. It's, it's just going to spray out to the side. Well, obviously, right. you would need cords. If I, if you, I hold, have... you hold the dick with one, and you... Boop. You can put your arm Nobody under the other two and you can hold what it. You're doing. No, this you is can a put podcast. your arm under the other two yeah. and you're good. Yeah. So what I what I'm gonna say is if I have dick nipples, I'm probably just gonna be kind of pissed about it. I'm gonna go into the bathroom, into the urinal, take my shirt off, and just let it go. <laughs> yeah, if if wow. my main penis pees in the urinal, fine. It's if one, not, it's sorry, it's, I have dick you're nipples. You either get in push up position or you take off all your clothes and you fucking spin around as you go. <laughs> And you pretty much become a sprinkler. I mean, it's well, one or the other. It's like, the other question is, ugh. are they attached to the same... Uh, is there like a scrotum included with the dick nope, nipples? Nope, just just a penis. No so, balls. So uh, I'm uh, guessing it's the same with like your uh, bladder. Or do you just get one ball per side? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you Guys, have two maybe it's in the middle or something like okay, that. I, th- I think we've gone too far into this. Uh, let's go to our next question. What about vagina nipples? <laughs> oh, that just sounds painful. Because then I imagine someone fucking me near my heart. Well, yeah. I can die. Well, what if you meet dick nipples and it's just like a match made in heaven? It's like you just know there's someone out there for you. And you imagine find me this. and you and you and me. <laughs> and, and then you just do push-ups onto her chest until you kill her because her heart's right next to her vagina. All I think about is that uh, Postal Service song talking about we will we'll feel like puzzle pieces from the clay, you know, because the dicks and the vaginas. Yep. All right, well, let's Ooh. go to Nerd well, On because I think 69ing we've... 69ing would be awkward then. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you have thigh vaginas. <laughs> <laughs> you did this, Nathan. <laughs> I just you was, did th- I was asking a scientific question. <laughs> What the, dark hole on Reddit? You knew find that question. exactly nah. what okay. would happen. <laughs> yeah, when, when you ask these scientific questions, though, you got to expect research All to happen. All I'm proving is that you guys said flight, but now that we talked, I think everyone would change their name. No, I'm penis. still I'm still firmly well, in the TJ, flight camp. That's because you like <sighs> boiled ham. <laughs> uh, there are some merits to it. You know, you boil uh, Dr Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> I actually saw that Alan Brown did that. Yeah, he did. He did it in Dr Pepper. I, I think a lot of a lot of people will do it in ginger ale. Mm. It makes it not as salty. Please go to the nerd on. All right. Yeah, <laughs> my nerd on's uh, ginger ale. <laughs> <laughs> Get your nerd on. Welcome back. This is where we do our nerd on. We talk about the things that we have been nerding out this week to let you know that we are living the life and not just a bunch of cool pussy slam <laughs> bastards that <laughs> <laughs> moonlight oh, as nerds. I mean, aren't we, though? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's totally what we are. I a bunch mean, of studs. Every three months. <laughs> we got to keep our sometimes going. Did y'all watch all the sports yesterday Yeah, while man. you were banging chicks? No, I watched them today because that's when the NFL's on. I don't watch little boys play football. I watch men. <laughs> yeah, NCAA is for babies. And then I watch two grown guys in underwear slam each other down. Over and over again while another guy counts to three. And then you turn mm-hmm. on wrestling. And then I turn on wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Ray, what have you been nerding out on? <clears throat> well, I, I had a, quite a few things this week. Well, um, let's narrow it Sabrina. down. Okay. You I got did, 20 minutes. I did, a couple, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did a couple more episodes of Sabrina. I think Nathan so said I. that you did some. I actually think we are almost lined up exactly. I think so. Yeah. Which, is, which is fun because that was what happened last week. Yeah. Uh, I've still been really digging it. I've gotten more into it. I, yeah. I've enjoyed it from the beginning, but I think the uh, episodes are getting stronger and the lore that they're building it's around like this. like Satan's power by yeah. watching the yeah. show. Yep. Yeah. Just slowly making me glad that I'm a Satanist. <laughs> I chose the right path. I mean, in you all in all, Blaze, you and Blaze, both. It, it, anything that Blaze decides is not a good idea. <laughs> Watching this show, I'm like, you know what? Making a deal with the devil in this world 
fucking works out in your advantage. You get magical powers. You live forever. When you die, you don't go to regular hell. You just go to another chill hell. It's like a lounge. It's like Tahiti. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's more like you're just in Florida. And I already fucking live here, so it's not that bad. Yeah. Mm. Um, Instead of Florida, it's probably like Arizona. Yeah. It's <laughs> 98 All degrees. the shitty parts and none of the positive parts. And the humidity is always high. Yeah. A lot of mosquitoes. Mm. Oh, yeah. Um, so big no. ones as big as your head. <laughs> I, I will say, like, uh, so I watched Batty Bat Bat episode. Um, yeah. And what the fuck is that? That was the name Batty of Bat. a demon. Yeah. Uh, uh, she was a sleep demon that yeah. puts you together or puts you to sleep and then haunts your dreams uh, till you die. Is her name uh, Ketty Fruger? The episode, <laughs> it, I mean, it was very kind of like a, an idea. I guess that was the playoff on it. Um, He's really defensive that, the only about Sabrina. I, yeah. No, I was saying that was, that was dead on to what it really was. Uh, I didn't like her makeup that much. I didn't think she looked very good, but I guess... Well, I know. honestly thought she looked like um, the troll from Ernest Scared Stupid. Like, oh, I thought really? it was that bad, but apparently... Well, I, th- I thought... Wow. I haven't I, seen that in a while. I thought the makeup on that was pretty decent. For a, no, second, looked good. For a second, I thought you meant Sabrina's makeup, and I'm like, man, <laughs> you're really picking the show apart. I was like, damn. Well, he's been watching it with Christy. Yeah. Um, but apparently she is another- a throwback to another show uh, or movie, and, that's, and the makeup's almost identical to it, so I gotta look it up to see what it is. Oh, what movie? Do you know? I can try and find out what we're talking, but... Okay. Uh, but once I heard, I was like, that makes sense because the episode was so cool, and I just liked the idea of like them no. having demons break out of hell. I felt the same way because I was like, well, <clears throat> I do too. I like that idea a lot. Well, because I, I was like, this is a I'm this is a like good episode, shotgun. but this the the special effects makeup on this demon didn't seem to fit the tone of everything else, and it Agreed. was fine. Um, but yeah, that makes a lot more sense if it was a throwback because they, they apparently. Uh, really like to do that. Nathan was explaining a couple of other things in an article that he read where they do a lot of, a lot of things. And I had seen a few of those, like the, like you had said, them walking down the train tracks, like stand by, spam, stand by me, mm-hmm. and uh, homeboy in a crop top listening to uh, headphones. headphones, like in um, nod to the first night on Elm, Elm Street. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, I I thought that was a little out of place. But it was still like, you know, you just kind of went with it. Like, TJ, we were talking about this earlier, and TJ was like, oh, so it's like one of those things where if you get the reference, it's cool. If you don't get the reference, you don't even notice it. It doesn't take and anything it, away from no, it. No. And it was, it was definitely one of those things. It was from Buffy, is what, and the episode was called Dreams oh. in a Witch House. Okay. And apparently, like, because uh, it was almost the exact same premise of, like, in, <laughs> yeah. in Buffy, there was, I guess, a witch that was putting him to sleep. Yeah, I haven't seen that and, in a long time. And that apparently is very dead on to her makeup, so that's what they were... That's fun uh, that they're... Because Buffy's not, like, a classic horror film, but that's fun that they're referencing it, because it is definitely... It's I can, not classic as in, like... I can see timeless, but it is classic. I can see why they're tying back to it because it's it kind of the same premise of like you know Buffy was a teenage a girl. teenage girl that fought fucking vampires, demons and, demons vampires and, and stuff. And shit. So you got the same little parallels. <laughs> uh, but no, I'm I'm loving this show. I think we probably only what, have two episodes, three episodes left. It's ten episodes season. I think it's ten. Yeah, it might be eleven. I, don't, but I honestly don't like. I kind of don't look at that a lot of times. I don't pay because I just let over. it. I, I want I want to be surprised. I don't want to be like oh only two more. They got to wrap it up. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, I've been loving that. Another thing Nathan and I did, uh, unbeknownst separately. to ourselves, separately, uh, we both ended up watching Teen Titans go to the movies, okay. which is Great. hilarious that both of us were like, you know, because a couple of months ago, I was watching this while I was doing my comic book stuff, the the show, and Nathan was also had also started watching, I guess, with Marshall, maybe, or yeah. just by yourself? No, no, I'll, I'll watch it with Marshall. Okay. And... Uh, for all the hate it gets, it was a lot of fun. So uh, that movie popped up on our voodoo. I was like, this will be a great thing. Because I was doing some other stuff. And uh, I was like, this is a great thing to watch while doing other things. And it was a lot of fun. I did not expect it to be a musical. And mm. in a way that it was well, amazing how good it was. The the show kind of can be sometimes. Because they yeah. have a lot of, lot of songs in yeah. the shows. So... That wasn't something that was like way like oh whoa what are they well, like, doing the the first time today I was like that's it but like they had multiple songs throughout but yeah. like very just Teen Titans Go style musical it's definitely Absolutely. not because uh, they meet the uh, the ma- or a villain at the beginning he's like who are you it's like oh you want to know who we are and Cyborg hits and the speakers come out and they do like a Beastie Boy esque rap introducing yeah. themselves <laughs> Teen Titans, but they're like Teen, so Teen into Titans. it that they totally ignore the giant monster so it keeps and goes and destroys the city and is like robbing all the money while they're like rapping yeah and the uh, Justice League has a show up defeat it 
And as they defeat it, like he falls down in front of them when they're finishing a the rap, like, oh shit, we done took him out. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's God, it, it was a great movie. Very making fun of the whole like DC universe. There's so many cameos in it. Make, they make they're they really good at making fun of DC. They're just making fun of the fact that like there is so many superhero, superhero movies. movies. They're like uh, like they're like next summer. Batmobile. Yeah. It's like a movie about uh, like, the oh, Batmobile. Dang, yeah. That looks good. And Man, then I love that Batmobile. The next next summer, the utility belt. <laughs> <It's a movie. laughs> yeah. um, there, there was a great scene where uh, all the DC superheroes get uh, brainwashed and are after the Teen Titans. And they kind of trick all of them Except for Batman. <laughs> and the fucking Batmobile is after him. So I think Starfire blows it the fuck up. And Batman comes like Willy jumping out of the, the Batmobile on his motorcycle. So they blow that the fuck up. And then he like goes Turns to, into like, a Razor scooter. A Razor scooter. Blows up. Blows up. Skate. Uh, roller skates. And they blow that up. And then all of a sudden Alfred's just there just running like a fucking madman with Batman on his back. <laughs> and, and, and all the two Titans are like... Oh man, Batman's unstoppable! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was so hilarious of a of a of a little, a prank, just, in there, a joke in there. Well, I, the, my favorite like joke making fun of was the the whole Martha. He's like Martha. He's like your mom's name is Martha too. God. And they hug. He's like, wait, what's no, your they, father's they don't name? Even, yeah. He's like, wait, what's your mommy's name? <laughs> my mommy's name's Martha too. And it's just so ridiculous because they Batman in the Teen Titans Go show is like. They show him being really ridiculous too, so it's really funny to take that and like kind of put it on top of its head. And I think that's what, what people hate about it is it's making fun of stuff they love. But I, I, you could feel how much people like actually the people that work on this like love these characters. Oh yeah, because yeah. uh, there's so many, the the other uh, joke was the uh, what is it the Challengers of the Unknown or something? Yeah, like the that? Challengers of the Unknown. I, I don't even know who they are. They, but they were they like predate a butt. the uh, the Fantastic Four, but it was a very <laughs> similar. Like they went out in the space and would like science stuff and the all. fight stuff, and uh, they were just such an unknown. Like because they, I guess they weren't very popular uh, in the whole idea, you know, in DC's <laughs> lineup, but. You know, the whole thing was they were getting a movie, too, and they're just like, dude, everybody's getting a movie. Except for Robin, because he's a sidekick. Yeah. Um, but the the animation is the same as the show, but it's just, it's a great movie. It's, it's about an hour and 30 minutes, and it's just joke-packed, like, throwbacks to, like, if you like DC, like Marvel, because there's, a, there's a, a Stan Lee cameo that's fantastic. Yeah. It's just, it's a lot of fun. I can't recommend it enough. That, it, that's it the fun. thing with the, the with this show and the, uh, this stuff. If you can just put aside all the seriousness just and just fun. have fun, that that show is a blast. Yeah, it. We laughed a lot, man. Even like uh, my wife, she was watching and she found herself like cracking up with it. And that's definitely not her style of humor because it, it's it's definitely fart humor. I mean, oh yeah, <laughs> the the one of the first main jokes was a fart joke, and it was hilarious. So I, I watched Infinity War again. This is probably my fifth or sixth time going through it. Yeah, it's still a fucking solid ass film. I, I I'm yeah. always afraid like the newness of like some of these Marvel films because I I just love Marvel so much. Will like. I'm wear off real bias to it and like when i watch them again later they won't be as good but i mean i've watched this one a bunch and i it's still great it's still absolutely great should have gone for the head yeah yeah that scene where <laughs> where fuck um rocket and groot and thor show up in wakanda yeah. fuck yeah just fucking shit up left and right uh titans the show on the dc streaming service dc universe um I called up, I watched two episodes, and I think there's five out now. Um, so I called up the other day on that, and uh, the, there was a whole episode where uh, it's kind of the one where they, they meet Beast Boy, and Beast Boy's um, living with like a lot of the members of the Doom Patrol, which is another show that they're going to have coming out. Brandon Fraser plays yeah. uh, Robot, Robo Man, or Robo, I, I'm not I'm, familiar I'm with forget. the Doom Patrol. Um, but it's still like it's still the production value isn't HBO because I still see a lot of people bitching about this and they're like it looks like a t uh, fan made film and stuff like that and I'm like it's not fucking HBO this isn't Netflix this is a one it's a an first time service um, doing it yeah uh, for their for their service so I I mean I know they have WB behind them and stuff like that but um <clears throat> I think it's if it's like a fan made film, is like one of the best fan made films that you've seen. Because some of the some of the um, special effects are a little hokey, but it's still like a good story. And yeah. again, 
you can see the people that work on this like love this property. And just because Beast Boy isn't green and Starfire isn't orange doesn't mean that like they don't know what they're doing with it. They're telling a good story so far. So I'm looking forward to seeing what else um what else they have in it. And the the end of the latest episode that I saw like cuz um Dick Grayson is in it. Another Robin shows up to oh, save so you, him. So you got to the Jason Todd? Yeah, well, okay. they, they didn't say it's Jason Todd, so yeah. I don't know who it actually is going to be. Because he is younger, so I he's it, not Damien Young, but it it's Todd. could be. Is it? Have they confirmed that? Yep. Or Okay. Okay. So uh, I also finished up season eight of Walking Dead. Um, it was a great fucking season. Nice. Great season. Watch on um, Netflix? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the governor is, or not the governor, the, um, Negan is just fucking, what's his, uh, who, who plays him? Jeffrey um, Dean Morgan. Jeffrey yeah. Dean Morgan is such a good actor, and uh, I don't remember if they have, did in the season, the season seven, but in this season, they start making him a little bit more of a character that you can relate with, Yeah, but he's still, like, off his rocker. Yeah. But he's so good at what he does. He's so good at it. Um, so I'm I'm definitely looking forward to to seeing the next season. I'm gonna see if I can log into AMC and watch it on there because I'm like that into it right now that I would definitely go ahead and launch through season nine. They don't. Uh, Walking Dead doesn't do uh, Hulu. No. No. Okay. No, they no, exclusively with their AMC streaming service. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, yesterday I went to the uh, Tallahassee Comic Book and Toy Convention uh, in Tallahassee, of course. Uh-huh. Uh, I planned on just going over there and getting there when they opened up around 10 and like heading out around lunch, but I ended up staying all day. Uh, a lot of the people that were vendors are vendors that vend at uh, Infinity Con and stuff, so I ended up hanging out. I got some killer deals. I got oh a bunch. Oh, my God. Yeah, I got a bunch of good... Um, I've been working on my 200 and above X-Men run, and I got a bunch of stuff from that. I got a bunch of really cool, really good uh, 50 Cent comics. I got David Cochran uh, signed X-Men. Um, yeah, you got some really after good he got shot shot nine times. 200 issues as well. Yeah, mo- all, mo- all of them were. All yeah. of them were. I, I got the first appearance of Kitty Pride, which has been one I've been wanting for a great price. I picked up a figure for Chuck. Yeah. And I got you a Scarlet Spider, which is a cool looking figure, by the mm-hmm. way. Thank you. Uh, and I picked up TJ a, I think a hell of a deal on a on a yeah. Ray and BB-8 hot toy. No. Yeah. So uh, it was a good fun time. I, I I hung like I said I hung out all day, helped the guys uh, break down and everything, and I uh, had a blast. Did a. Just a personal thing. Did you find your last issue for West Coast Avengers there? Nope. Or no? I I think I actually was looking, and I think I have two issues that I'm missing. And I still have to go through a lot of the comics that I got from, from my buddy mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to see if it's in there. Because I know when we were there that day, TJ, going through all that stuff, the number 100 was there because I saw it. But I thought it was just an Avengers so we didn't put it in the Avengers West Coast stuff because um, I think Vision. I don't is- think it's in the Avengers stuff because I went through that the other. I went through that a couple of weeks ago with Katie, just kind of looking through and yeah. Know, was there, I'll double check though. No, I don't. If think it's, it's there, I'll I'll pass it along because I don't yeah. think you got all the Avengers stuff. I got everything that was in th- that Avengers stack. Oh, I okay. Took, I was kind of upset I've- at the time when he pulled out that Avengers Annual number ten. I was like, Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, but it wasn't really cause you know, it was cool. No. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. So, uh, I, I I've still got to go through some of that stuff cause it might've got put in with some of the DC stuff or whatnot, but I know I saw it the day we were going through all of that stuff. So I still have a few to hit, but, um, yeah. So Last that one. was a great time for me yesterday. Sounds like fun, man. That was fun. And that's basically it for me. Michael. Still playing Spider-Man, having a good time with that. Uh, You're destroying that game, man. Moved on to challenges, uh, starting to uh, play with the suits and everything. I'm so mad at how good you're doing at the challenges because I, they're such a challenge for me, and I'm playing on friendly, well, and I, you're just knocking them out of well, the park. The drone ones, some of those I've had to do 20 or 30 times. Well, yeah, it's just the timing and trying to get through that, that you loop. You have to stay quick to it. You have yeah. to stay close to it within 60 meters. You have to uh, get every single camera it drops, yeah. and you pretty much have to 
just follow its exact path. Yeah. What, uh, what suit are you using right now? Uh, I'm uh, I'm kind of switching through. I like the the main suit the best. I, I keep going back suit. to it, the advanced suit. Yeah, but I really enjoy. I don't. I forget the name of it, but it's the suit that you get from uh, completing the Black Cat uh missions i know which one That's you're a talking cool looking about one which one was it's that? black with like a, a red widow on oh, the front the, with the uh, red eyes not the secret wars one but the no, uh, it's no. the one you get literally from completing i think the black it's made, missions. Isn't I know, it made just it's, for the game I, I think it's a specific suit though a lot of them are yeah um i, I like that one and i i like the secret wars one i was kind of using that one too that's the one i was thinking it was okay cool what's your favorite power uh, i hate you ray you know what he's gonna say. You mean suit power? Yeah, yeah superpower. Uh, probably battle focus. Thank you. No, uh, I like Spider Bro. <laughs> I the know best. you do. I feel it's it's. I've used a lot of the other ones. They just, I mean, while they're cool, they just don't seem that helpful. Web Blossom's really cool. That's yeah. the other better. To me, yeah. Web Blossom seems really overpowered. Like it really overpowered. I think that's only because you didn't use Spider Bro for a long time. No, I mean Spider I tried some other nuts. ones, but I was like. It's just the fact that you can literally just drop in, hit that, and you can just web right out of the fight, and you're it's done already. Yeah, most of the guys are webbed up to walls or floor that or something. Help, that helps a lot with challenges, mm -hmm. uh, especially combat challenges. Uh, and I kind of I kind of switch around. Like there was one that I had to do. It was uh, one of the bases I had to do, and one of one of the multipliers you had to do was do uh 10 finishers so i threw on mm. battle focus hit that and i got 10 finishers real quick so nice you know, it's just kind of using uh power to the situation where are you at in the game i was gonna ask that uh i just defeated mr negative okay mm. so i don't know uh, uh i'm assuming i'll eventually have to wait, take on did silver you just stable finish that's way after the uh the helicopter chase with him right I that's guess, in the that's in the preview. I guess hey, and I don't remember. You don't remember the helicopter chase that they when they first put out stuff for Spider Man they showed it. Have you used New York Miles yet? Yeah, yeah a couple times. Okay, so he's already passed so, uh, one yeah. of the fights I know of. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, coo, so coo, 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 like coo, said, coo. they just strapped him a uh, Mister Negative up to uh, a truck that said the raft, and they're taking him to the raft. Okay, cool. Oh, gotcha. God. Okay, yeah. Yeah, oh, you're, so you're, you, you're yeah, gonna you're have fun soon. Yeah, well, I'm sure because <laughs> I, I just got done helping uh, Doctor Octavius finish a few things, yeah. <laughs> and there's certain welding suits and goggles around and yeah. things that look yeah. very interesting. Uh, mm -hmm. He is isn't the story in this so good? Mm -hmm. It's really good, and all the characters are done quite well. And I really just can't get over the facial motion capture. It's oh, yeah. really good. It's yeah. really good. Really well done. It, I love it. I love the MJ in it, and I love Doc, yeah. Dr. Octavius in it. Oh, uh, yeah. The MJ missions are pretty, actually kind of fun as well. I just did one where it was a lot the, of people hate him. I Mr. love Mr. Negative, uh, where Spider Man was running support. Yes. You know, yeah. So I was like, get him. And Spider Man would just come and whip ass and mm -hmm. with an ass. Uh, but enough about the 800th time we've talked about the fucking Spider Man game. It's a glorious if game. Yeah, it's great. Bought it by this point, you need to go out and fucking buy it. Yeah, it's it's really good. Uh, I definitely akin it to the Batman series. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little bit lighter uh, in uh, in certain ways, but that's just the nature of I think the Spider Man universe versus Batman. But on Saturday, I went to a beer festival in Orlando. Uh, they had a bunch of craft beers, uh, beer uh, craft breweries from all over the state. Uh, come there and for like 45 bucks you can drink as much beer as you want they're little three ounces but we worked it out where if you have 27 three ounce beers <laughs> you you get your 45 dollars worth Oof. so i had 27 three ounce beers Man. and i was i haven't been that drunk in a long time uh was able to stumble over to gringos locos and have a delicious burrito called a mouth hugger it was very <laughs> yeah. nice and then lost a pool. Me at that mouth sounds hugger. very interesting. It, it's a it, tell me about this burrito because we love you know we love food. On the thing this is, podcast. we skipped over what was your favorite beer and we went straight to what was the burrito. Well, you know it, it, it's special this burrito. Okay, I doubt they he remembers the beer. <laughs> me, is there any burrito festivals coming up? Right. That's what I, I love. Yeah. yeah, dude, you know how scary that would be a burrito festival. 
They would, your insides? They would have to do like mini burritos, yeah. l- like egg roll size no, burritos. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there is that, one's that chili cook off at Hal Powder. Uh, uh, they already uh, had one. They have another one coming up. I think, yeah. I think all of them that there. There's like three chili cook offs around like this time, and I can't do any of them. Uh-huh. It's this week. Are you doing the work one? No, I won't be there that day. I am going to murder you. I was so waiting for that. But we'll talk about that afterwards. Yeah, burrito? Yeah. We'll talk about that during murder. What was yeah, the burrito, murder. Mike? Uh, it, it was just a regular burrito. It's just, but the ingredients were really good. Uh, yeah. It was kind of a, it was a very small building. It was a, just big enough for the, best the kitchen, mm-hmm. uh, the prep area, which you walk through. And then in the back, there's like five tables outside that sounds amazing yep. so it it was really good there's a few of them around orlando they're called gringos locos i believe but they make very good food uh i was also able to finally finish season three of preacher uh which <sighs> the show I, I know i say this every time but the show just never ceases to get better and better and better and just the, the the depths of depravity it will go in mocking <laughs> Christianity, it, it, it just blows me away every time. Uh, and I think I've mentioned this before, but just an idea. Excellent. Yeah, sounds pretty good. Uh, Jesse Custer, the main character, he gets embroiled with this uh, uh, with this uh, secret organization called I think it's called the Grail, but they're basically like Knights Templar meet Men in Black. Mm. So they work for uh, they work for God, one hundred percent. They want the apocalypse to to come to make them, you know, to uh, bring on the new world and all that great stuff. So they find out that they actually have the seventeenth descendant of Jesus Christ, but they've inbred him, so he's retarded. <laughs> uh, his name's Humper, Sorry. and his name's Humperdew. <laughs> It's a good and, name, Humperdoo. And, yeah, and they clone a bunch of him because they're trying to pull Genesis, uh, the power that Jesse has out of him, into into uh, Humperdoo so he can become the new Messiah. But uh, Genesis is particular on who actually is uh, is uh, you know who they inhabit. It's got to be the right level of good and bad. So they eventually figure out that they mix the gene. They call it the Tom Brady. But it's uh, it's Thomas Jefferson and Wayne Brady's DNA mixed together, and they inject it into Humperdoo. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous thing. It gets <laughs> fucking crazier, dude. <laughs> so before they do that, the they, they were able to so suck Genesis out of Jesse and put him into Humperdoo, and he explodes. So they have these clones come in, and they just like... And they explode all these Jesus clones. Uh, and it, it's just insane. And the leader of the church is this giant fat man. He's like 800 pounds. And he gets shot in the chest and he's okay because he's so fat. And he basically has the stick he carries. So when he eats, he uses the stick and barfs into, into a bucket so he can eat more. It's just like fucking crazy. So while this is going on, Hitler and... and uh, <laughs> Hitler got out of, of hell. Hitler's Hitler, gotta be in this. Hitler gets out of hell. Yeah, and he's working at a subway, <laughs> and it's going by the name. That makes so uh, much it's going sense. by the name Adolf Hil- Hilter, <laughs> <laughs> and he ends up he ends up getting the subway. People. This is more ridiculous than the Hitler on South does he, Park. Does he work with Jared or is he like uh, no close he, personal but, friends? But he creates an SS Waffen from subway uh, uh, employees. <laughs> And they somehow get like a a, a Sherman tank <laughs> and put S- and put like Nazi shit all over it. But so anyway, Hitler and uh, I forget the kid's name, but they call him Ass Face in the comics. Uh, they're captured by the saint, and they're going back. They're go- taking them back to hell. Well. Uh, H- Hilter <laughs> calls the SS Waffen, and they blow the fucking bus off the road. And so the saint, who you guys remember, is a cowboy who murdered an entire town over the death of his family and is cursed to be uh, basically Satan's errand boy. He has these guns, comes up, and just blows shit away. So uh, God's missing, uh, which you see him a lot of times. He's dressed like a dog uh, because he's really into BDSM. 
and he just rides around on a motorcycle <laughs> and just is a huge dick. How did the show get so made? Like I, this comic, I, I know. Like, how did that get made? But Seth how did Rogen's this get made? Producing it? I don't know. Uh, yeah, but it, I, 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 I need cannot to watch say this show. This sounds fucking, fucking amazing. amazing. Show. I'm so, so upset. I've never seen. So this. anyway, so the, the SS come in. They all fucking get murdered because uh, the Angel of Death, who is Satan's right hand, who you meet Satan, and he just like he looks like if Glenn Danzig was eight feet tall. Uh, uh, a, a satyr and red and super muscular, uh, and he's just, <laughs> he's just like, he's South like Park a Satan, like yeah, oh, Lord, pretty much. Man. But he's got long hair, and he's like, hey man, you know what's going on? But he's like evil, uh, like super evil. So anyway, so <laughs> no, after all this shit, uh, they finally fucking get Assface and Hitler back to hell. They have to kill all the SS guys. Wait, when did Assface go to hell? I, I, I must have missed that part. Uh, earlier in the series, uh, <laughs> in, the, in season one, and I'll be quick about it, when Jesse was learning his powers, uh, the Assface kid was just like, this is bad, you can't do this, you know, you're, you, you, know you, you need to turn yourself in or something, he was annoying him, and Jesse got pissed off and he said, go to hell! And of course, with his just power, sent ha- it sent him to hell. God. And then Jesse nice. never went and got it. Anyway, this so... This is so nuts. To draw this all back together... So Hitler and Assface show up in Satan's office, and Satan's super pissed. Uh, and they're talking about how there's no rules anymore because God's missing, and Satan's going to take everything over. So uh, the saint who got totally fucked over by Satan just he finally gets his guns back, grabs them, and fucking kills Satan, blows them away. <laughs> so he walks out of hell. Where does Satan go when he, he dies? I don't know. He just unmade. These guns are like supernatural. So Satan just is like fucking dead with a hole in his head. And he just walks out of the office, and you see Hitler kind of look around and just ease into the chair. <laughs> and then Death is like, what is thy bidding, my master? So Hitler is now Satan. Good and that's God. how the season ends. This, are you, that's who, fucking brilliant. Who wrote yeah. this again? Uh, Garth Ennis. Garth Ennis, of course. Yeah, Garth yeah. Brooks. Garth Brooks. You're watching this <laughs> Brooks. AMC, Mike? AMC. Yeah. Okay. It, it's a fantastic I show. I season one on... Um, well, they, they put them on sale a lot on, yeah. The, yeah. on the PlayStation, PlayStation Network. The, the, the show only gets better with each season. It is just... It is so fucking crazy, and I haven't even really scratched the surface on how fucking crazy it is. Is this I on Netflix it. yet or no? I, I think it's maybe exclusively on AMC. Yeah, I, don't I would think look it's into on. it. Uh, and lastly, which Maybe TJ Hulu. and Chuck will... Uh, I think it is Hulu. Uh, we'll ta- we'll kind of chime in on this, but oh, yeah. we saw Overlord on Thursday. Yes. And pretty jelly. Yes. It was... It, it was, was fun. It was better than I thought it would be. Uh-huh. Yeah, it is not what I thought it would be at all. I ex- But I expected it to be bad. The, the, uh, uh, I still wanted to see it because the concept is so awesome, but some of the scenes, especially how they filmed the monsters and how they moved and everything, oh, yeah. it just kind of stunk of just kind of bad, sticky horror. Yeah. Uh, but that was a small part of it, and it had one of the most panic-inducing scenes oh, God, yeah. I've ever been in a movie, and it didn't yeah. even fucking involve a monster. No. Uh, it was this uh, them flying over uh, German airspace, uh, right before uh, the the army guys jump, yeah. you know, jump uh, right before Normandy. Right before yeah. Normandy, because they're they're in the airborne and they're doing a night jump before D Day. It was like to, what twelve hours before? Yeah, to take out a radio tower on a church that was jamming signals so they the, could uh, have communication. The same jump that uh, Brothers in Arms was based off of. I think they jumped. Blown the fuck I think out, they right? jumped yeah. during D Day. No, because they were in gliders and things. Uh, I could have swore. No, they did a night jump on, on Brothers in Arms. They're doing a night jump the day before D Day. Band of Brothers? Yeah. Band, sorry, yeah, Band of Brothers. And they're getting okay. blown the shit out and they're trying it to. Get, might be. It's been and, a while since I've it. And that's an older show, so I can imagine it done nowadays. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. people are just getting blown up, right? Left and right. Yeah. 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 The cool part about this, too, is it's kind of had this 1940s feel with the yeah. shots. And uh, like the, the title, title screen, screen also. Yeah, the title screen looked like one of those news reels you see before a movie. Yeah. You know, so it's like Paramount in the bottom. I was like, ah, using that voice. Roman you know? numerals. Yeah, and the Roman num- numerals for at the bottom. year. It was awesome as hell. And yeah. then like the shots and and like he was saying, the way the monster, some of the monster effects were, and it was pretty much all practical effects. Yeah, too. there was very. The only time they did CG is when they had to like green screen out a huge chunk of people's faces. Mm-hmm. You know, just to you know, something that 
makeup might be a little hard to do, mm-hmm. but every everything else nearly was practical, and it was it was well done. So give me like the biggest broad spro- uh, strokes of what this is actually about. The movie. Okay, so like I said, uh, this is a night raid the day before D Day over Normandy. Mm-hmm. They're going into a French village to uh, take out a radio tower that is jamming. Uh, that will be jamming uh, Allied signals. So while in the French town, uh, they discover that the Nazis have found something in... It's just something in the soil that has an effect on people, and they're experimenting on the French villagers. And the guys uh, going to take out this tower stumble upon it. And that's a general gist of the movie. Okay. Yeah. Now one of the one of the surprise things was one of the actors in it. Uh, he uh, his character was formerly in Italy, and he got them. Uh, he was the only survivor, so he was everybody else in the group was green except for him and a few other people. So you know he just he had this look like he was just going to be a shitty actor and just I don't know I was totally turned off from him from the very beginning. Yeah, but throughout the movie. He turned out to be a really good actor. Yeah, and there was one scene where me and Chuck looked at each other, and, and we were just like, "Man, this guy looks just like fucking Kurt Russell." Uh-huh. Like, man, I want this uh-huh. guy to play fucking Snake, you uh-huh. know, as Snake Plissken. Like, that's how good he looked. And then and Chuck throws the knowledge bomb that he fucking is Kurt Russell's son. Yeah, <laughs> uh, which makes a lot of sense. But he was great. Yeah, the main actor, the guy who played Boyce, was really good. Oh, yeah. Uh, the acting was great. Uh, the scenes, the everything. Yeah, one of the guys from Agents of Shield is in it. Uh, Ray. Yeah, Which guy, dude. Uh, Fitz. Yeah, oh, you okay. play Fitz, Fitz is great. In it. He yeah. was Chase. And was he actually good? Because some yeah, of those, okay. some of those shows, like they're he not his great act- actors. He, I guess he was trying to hide his accent through most of the movie, which kind of threw me off as to if it was actually him. And then he took off his helmet at one point, and and his accent kind of came through. And I was like, okay, that's definitely yeah. him. And there was a uh, Euron Greyjoy was the main baddie. Okay. Oh, that was him. Yeah, I didn't realize it until I saw it when I looked at Wikipedia at the cast. I was like, who is this guy? I'm like, holy shit, because so, I didn't recognize him without the mutton chops. He was, he was urine. Yeah. Mm. Uh. Were the monsters very like um, they were kind of Cthulhu esque? Like no, 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 okay, no. But they were. There was this one that's just really creepy as hell, mm-hmm. and it probably got almost. I know it got me and Nick was the um, uh, the head. Oh with yeah, just the spine, and it was just kind of like. What was it? It was saying. Just, it kept saying the same thing oh, over it, and over it again. It was saying, "Help me, please." It was oh, like, yeah. "Sivu play." You know, yeah. So it was a decapitated head with the spine coming yeah, out because uh, the stuff was kind of yeah. able to reanimate uh, dead, uh, but also give them uh, certain superhuman qualities. But yeah. they were still in the experimental stage, so you know, a lot of trial and error, I guess you could yeah. say. Yeah. Uh, which is weird because the movie it doesn't really go sci-fi. Until well over halfway through it, it's oh, like yeah. a normal World War Two. So I really enjoy that mm-hmm. about films. Yeah, uh, uh, they integrate it into the story to where it's a part of it, and it, it's really hard to explain. It's like something that these guys like. It's still fucking crazy, but it's just something these guys they just had to handle it. You know, they had yeah, to yeah. do it. Uh, so th- that was cool in and of itself because it, it really made it feel like. This is what would happen if this happened. Yeah, and it was already like a terrible fucking night before they stumbled yeah, onto yeah, that. It, yeah, it, it was scary as fuck. I was tense the whole. It was very yeah. brutal. I, I legitimately almost had a panic attack at the very beginning, just with how intense some of the scenes were. I yeah. always wish that there were like uh, I, I know because of marketing and stuff, you probably will never be able to do this. But I've always wanted to watch a movie that I think is one thing, and then it completely fucking turns. It's like a horror film. Watch it's like, Jarhead. I, d- I will not watch that. I hate. I know that you guy. love Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah. Well, it's him being unfulfilled and pissed off the yeah. whole movie, so but, it's uh, actually kind of like pseudo masochistic. Like Ray, Nate, if y'all want to see, I, I probably with Mike and TJ, I recommend it. It was a fun movie. Yeah, I shit, don't I'll probably wanna see it. I'll, I'll probably see it again. Yeah, like yeah. I don't feel like I wasted my money. I, I enjoyed it. Definitely it was great. great. No, I, no, I mean from the trailers, I was in. You know, from yep. the beginning, because it just looked like my I would type watch of movie. This on the Netflix. It, I don't, don't want to go to the theater for right it. Right up my like World War II, occult shit, Wolfenstein, yeah. Blood Rain, no. that kind of stuff is like 
up my alley, man. I'm not really a horror movie guy, and I was going into this thinking it was probably going to feel like a horror movie. But it was more of an action. It was more of an action. It was more, it, but like they were saying, it's very tense at the beginning of this movie. And it's more than halfway before you see it, the first sign of something like a monster. There's yep. something fucking crazy going on. Yeah. Dig it. Uh, and the last part of my nerd on, which... Uh, Mike's getting into race size nerd ons here this uh, week. Hey, man. Well, it, it's, it. a, it's something that we it can kind of talk about a little bit because I know Nathan and, and uh, TJ definitely have done the hardcore history mm-hmm. and really into, you know the history of world war one and all that and of course today that we're recording november 11th is the <laughs> 100 anniversary. anniversary from the signing of the armistice ending world war one you are so, literally becoming like 70 year old men i just Love thought that was interesting was, stuff was pretty right? cool no i'm just talking about there. like being really into world war one you're gonna you're gonna have the set of books on your on well, your you know, mantle. All, all the posers in World War Two. World War One is really weird. So. Actually, I think that like before you, you break into what you're gonna say is it's funny because you know WW two is like pretty much that's what everybody likes to talk about. Yeah, and I, and I feel it's funny like because I'm like yeah man World War One that's what the Great War that's what we need to talk about. Yeah, I think it's a lot more like. I mean, no, I, not I, neither. WW two had a very clear bad guy, and yeah, so it makes yeah. for great theater and great movies and and drama. It's in, in history, it's easier to follow because it, in the first war, there really there was not defined bad and good. I mean, it was just it was just a war, yeah, and it was a war with a bunch of people that had like their own intentions that they were really trying to push on each other. And I think it's a lot more interesting because that's uh, th- there it's was a very lot of, interesting. There was a lot of the stuff in like the Middle East and everything. Yeah. Like, I love movies. And it doesn't happen very often. Where like all the horses in Africa, in North Africa, and stuff like World War One stuff like that. Yeah, because you don't get a lot of that. And I don't know a lot of the history about that kind of well, stuff. But like, I love that. One of the first wars that like uh, they had like what thirty thousand soldiers taking taxis to the front lines. Yeah, they like had to have ta- like literal taxi service, like hopping in cars, like get me to the war. Yeah, like, they were, they're, <laughs> and they're talking like um, if you wanted to see Napoleon's. Uh, yeah, cavalry. What? If you want to see what that looked like, look at pictures of World War One because it that's exactly same, it. Yeah, because yeah, exactly nothing had changed. Yeah, the same uniforms, the same everything. You know, they're going out in cloth hats and yeah. Yeah. blue uniforms and shit. They mm. had no idea what they were in store for. <laughs> yeah, it was a changing of time. We, with talked about it, but, uh, we I can't, and I, I think everybody agrees. The, yeah. the hardcore history, uh, their his series on the Great War is is absolutely amazing. Oh my god! I think it's yes. uh, it's Arben Getting. What is it called again? The the full name. Uh. Recipe for Armageddon? I can't remember. Yeah, I think so. But it's highly suggested. Anyway, but Mike, where were you going with this, sir? I mean, that was just, I just thought it was really interesting. Okay, I thought you were talking about the fact that uh, he's getting ready to start releasing the World War II hardcore history. Mm. Oh, no, that wasn't Dan Carlin. That was a different podcast. Oh, okay. I was was, uh, confused on that then. That's okay. A little inside knowledge there. Uh, We talk about stuff off the air sometimes as Mm. friends. We yeah. don't really. Lots no, we hate each other. This is purely business. <laughs> all the money we don't make. Charles. Uh, that's me, Charles. That's all you, buddy. I'm passing the, the torch, torch to Nathan. Chuck. Good Chuck. drop the Chuck. torch. But Chuck. Overlord, like Mike said, amazing. Um, Christ, other than that, I've Christ done the... Christ I finished the Christ book for the book club uh, this week. Christ it was uh, Heap House by Edward Carey. I want to be um, a <laughs> I really enjoyed this, and it's been a while since I've actually gotten to be in a book that wasn't like something of Stephen King. Uh, <laughs> that's because he, that's your own choice, though. Well, I mean, I, yeah. I, I, I enjoy it, but it's like this. It's like God damn it, Audible! You like keep making me download yeah, it's Stephen like he King. Signed some kind of pact no, with the it's, devil. It's more of a, <laughs> I'll only read Stephen King. It, even hey, though Charles, this, this book is, is uh, dark. This is Stephen. Uh, you need to read my new book. I hear you I want to read some. Read else. the new one. Why are you guys pretending to be me, Stephen King, constant listener? Constant <laughs> All right, just thinker. for a side note, the shitty Budweiser Jim Beam shit is gone now. I drank last one. Oh, thank God. Yeah, you're welcome, Ray. <sighs> it was your own fault. I, you know, brought I, the I, shit. I, I thought it was good. It was always like projecting horrible. his issues on <laughs> other people. No, it's... I'm accepting the fact that I bought a shitty beer. I started. And I, finished it. I started this book. Um, it it seems like it's a very whimsical style book. Nathan you hates just whimsical started books. I, I don't. I don't hate them. No, you uh, do because you never finished a boy's life, and that was very whimsical. Or the, uh, in fact, you said nowhere, it was whimsical. What was it? Nowhere. Nowhere. I hurt my feelings because my favorite. Well, I'm, I'm kind of protesting this book a little bit. How far are you into it? 
I was like two chapters in, but then I heard that it was like the first part of a series. Hey, I'm like, hey, 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 hey. don't worry about the fact that it's a trilogy. Yeah. TJ, excuse me, mister. I want to pick two of the longest yeah. books yeah. in history. Mr. Game yeah. to shoe in Ready Player One. <laughs> yeah. So to shoe in Ready Player One that he had already Another read, rule. which is against no. the rules. So he's going to get TJ the, is going to try to this rule. TJ is known to try to circumvent a rule whenever <laughs> okay, he can. Okay, okay, no. These you haven't read the book probably. He's wrong. No, I don't read the okay, book. so that's your problem. <laughs> but it seems whimsical at first. I love the setting of that time period, like the 1800s in He's London. He's had to suck a magical but penis. You think it's whis- whimsical <laughs> now? It it actually gets really dark. And then he cut off the whimsical <laughs> penis with the saw blade. And glued it to penis his nipples, chest. Penis nipples. <laughs> but uh, no, because uh, this I finished and the first book, and it literally China. it seems to me it was like the adventures, and now it's the misadventures of Claude Ironmonger and Lucy Pennant. Uh, the second book so far, it's spoilers. No, I said the adventures and misadventures. Spoilers. You can have ups and downs. It's a joke, Chuck. I know, and <laughs> that's why he's so defensive because it's the a joke. second book. It's literally they're going into Folsom, which is the town beyond the keeps. And is there a prison there? Huh? Nothing. Go on. Yeah. Does he go to Reno and kill God. somebody? Just watch them die. Oh my bad. It's Folsom. They call it Folsom, but it's Folsom is the actual term for it. The people in the heap call it just go also. But uh, no, I'm, I'm enjoying this series so far, and I've already Excellent. bought this, the third book so, for it, so once I finish the second, I can jump into that. But uh, you learn things about math, the <laughs> Ironmongers, <laughs> and the birth objects, and it's just, it's you mean, math you is mean vaginas? There's, is that what a birth magic. object is? No. It's literally every Ironmonger, once they're, you know every woman has one of these they're born, they're given something. Like a toaster rack or a toaster like, rack. It's, it's yeah. really a rack weird. Yeah, it's like a toaster rack, a drain plug, a candle, a matchbox. Nathan did say it was whimsical. They have to keep yeah. these items at all times, or mm-hmm. they'll die. And uh, magical no, items. it's there's some magical I elements to it you thing, find later on. I do the same thing with my blood, but <laughs> <laughs> my heart. The, the but, worst uh, joke for you two that you. Know, I would just stick with it because it it will it picks oh, up real I'm fast. I'll finish it. it before before book yeah. club. Uh, yeah, I'll I, start uh, it the day before. Yeah. It's only I think uh, 10, eleven hours. Long. Eleven hours. Yeah. Oh. Yes, because book two is like eight hours long. So, but uh, other than that, uh, I finished uh, season three of Daredevil. Wow! Is, it, is season three the wow. best <laughs> season of Daredevil? Man, it's like they took the hallway just fight say yes. and made it into a whole it season is, or whatever. It is like if just you thought yes. Wilson okay. Fisk was a bastard before you wait to see filson whisk <laughs> he's he's very he's very evil in season three if he, he thought he was a bastard before wait to see his birth certificate oh yeah no but, for uh, sure like the okay, whole conflict the, with, i was about to say that's not even the worst joke no, we've had on this episode but the whole conflict <laughs> that matt has with his religion god and what he's doing and then trying to distance Classic but keep daredevil but trying mm-hmm. to keep foggy and and care near him, but not. It's dude. There's and the twists that go on with like Matt MJ. and some of the other characters is just. This was a beautiful season. Yeah, it was amazing. The only thing that was that was weirding me out was he's walking around with these Muay Thai wraps on his hands at like at all times from like the middle of the season on. Yeah, he he doesn't just go walking back. around. I'm like, he doesn't go back to his red Daredevil suit that he no. had. Mm. He leaves it be. But it was, just, and but there's a reason for it as well. Yeah. So. and I, I would like a season four, but I'm like, I'm comfortable. Did you feel he's like blind? Yeah. He can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you feel like that was a good ending to season to all the Daredevils though? It was, except for the very end. I'm like, I if how they would have ended it was just that little scene with, with them, them talking, the and they end it. I'd be fine. Okay, that's it. No more Daredevil. That's the that is a. I must not remember the very point. last scene. Surgery. Yeah, yeah, uh, and I'm like, come that on, was whatever, yeah. But I'm like, why would you do that? Like, I literally would have, if they wouldn't have had that, it would have been a perfect way to end that and just be you, done with. You it. always have to leave a little something in case you want to come back. Yeah. <laughs> he I, was, but if they don't, it was an I'm okay completely character. Fine with it. Don't That's end on the, the period. No. Well, I think he was a great character. What did George yeah. call that in Seinfeld, the Costanza or whatever? No, you where you got to go out on a, on a, on the top or whatever. I thought it was where you leave a little thing behind at the apartment so they can oh, call you yeah, back. Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. that's that's a I, different Seinfeld. It was a good character, but I didn't need any more. He served his purpose. I'd be okay it. with more because I thought he was a great character, honestly. Mm. 
Okay. It was kind of like Nuke from um, Jessica Jones, but better. Like, way better. So, anyway. Okay. okay. But, uh, other than that, I also started the Great British Breaking Show because I was, I was torn between starting the, the Haunting of uh, Hill House or Sabrina, and I saw that was on, so it was the I sixth season. neither. Uh, no, it's like... I, <laughs> I want to see something really fucking evil. Biscuit Week. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah. Biscuit. Well, Hollywood and Proof. Fucking, ooh, they're, they're horrible. Cookie. Don't fucking call it a biscuit, you motherfucking twit. Ray, we're biscuit, sorry, bitch. but over here across it's the pond, let's go to biscuit. It's a biscuit. But uh, no, it's it's just a good wholesome show. We've talked about it before. I just, I just about ready to throw some tea in the harbor. But uh, so far, I'm like, none of the contestants are really grabbing Allison my said attention. There's a witch on there. Mm-hmm. A witch? Yeah, she said there's a. witch I think on there. she's just saying bitch really weird. Uh, probably bitch. <laughs> she's saying witch. <laughs> No, Ray, it, there's this one. She's she such says, a. She said, but uh, it's still it's not the classic Paul Hollywood and uh, Mary Berry. It's the the new the lady. New house, mass, new house. Yeah, but uh, but it's it's just a wholesome good show, and I, I like I like seeing the people cooking the stuff, and it looks delicious. <laughs> I'm supposed to ask you about the clown, Chuck. The clown. Yeah. Fine. What clown? I don't, I well, don't know. Chuck Allison doesn't know. Ask so you about the clown. Going. I don't know about the clown. Isn't that Stephen King book? Clown girl. Oh, uh, clown girl. Oh, the clown girl. And she said, this is what she's talking about, the witch, the clown girl in um, in the great bit British baking I've show. I've only seen two episodes. I started the second episode. She's only seen today. one, and she said there's a clown girl, so never mind. Cook off. The great bitch off. I have to ask We're Allison, moving on so. to Natty yeah, Light over there. I'm tired. <laughs> That's pretty much it for me, man. All right. Nathan? So, We're referring to him as Natty Light now. Natty, <laughs> Natty Light, so it's... That's pretty good. Uh, nickname, water. Actually. Yeah. I don't drink Natty Light, but I'll, I'll take the nickname. <laughs> Um, you know, besides it watching, goes down just as smooth. Yeah. I'm just a harsh <laughs> asshole. That no, you only hang out with me out of necessity. Yeah, not because you want oh to. God, he's cheap. cheap. <laughs> I am cheap. Go we'll get for five bucks, man. Uh, besides, but he's got a nice can. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Easy to handle. Um, besides Teen Titans Go, I started a couple of podcasts this week. Well, one I'm continuing on the Mysterious Universe off of uh, Mike's suggestion. Mm-hmm. And giving those guys a try, um, and and they are enjoyable. Uh, I was watching this one. Uh, they are enjoyable, but well, no, no, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're not wrong. The they're but. enjoyable. It's just some of their subjects. Like I've yet to find uh, just an episode about demons or something like that. That's why. Like this next one was uh, about I don't know, fucking. I think time loops and and being able to. That's uh, interesting as fuck, dude. Yeah, no, no, it's cool stuff. But like they were talking about, like uh, I can't remember exactly, but. They give you an example. This this guy, when he was young, when he was a kid, he uh, would always describe how he was a pilot in a war, uh-huh. and he fought in a war. He could describe the the bomber. He could draw the exact control panels, knew his name, all this shit. Mm-hmm. And when he was twenty three or twenty four, he was murdered. Yeah, and he was murdered in a train station. And they found right below where he was murdered, they were like digging around stuff like that. They found a bomber that was underneath, and it was almost the exact bomber that he had always talked about. And so they're like, was it because of his the the tragedy of his death that it actually influenced him as a kid? Because time, there you know, it's not linear; it goes all around. So him being murdered there went back and influenced him as a kid to know that that was underneath him. Mm. Or uh, another case where a gentleman was lost; he was in the middle of a cemetery walking, and his tombstone fell on top of him. He didn't die, but he was there for eight or nine hours in the middle of the night screaming. When they finally found him, when they pulled the tombstone off, it was his exact name that was on the tombstone. <laughs> like, like weird, like death was knocking. Yeah, things like that. Well, not even just death. The fact that a, a, a tombstone falling you was weird. A yeah. tombstone with your name. Yeah. Is, Death was knocking. Like, you better no. knock watch out. out. Terry yeah. Maxwell the third. Yeah. <laughs> you should have been playing some damn lottery that week too. So, uh-huh. yeah, they told, oh, yeah. and and you're just like, fuck, this is crazy. I just want to hear about demons though. <laughs> like, <give> me- <laughs> the, 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 they they're few and far between sometimes because they're more of a coast to coast where they're just all over the place. They really are. Um, but they're enjoyable as a host. I love coast to coast. If you just tried typing in demon podcast, no, I don't. I want to go off of what Ray or uh, have you Micah gone to demonpodcast.com? Well, I would recommend yeah. slash net. Jim Harold campfire they tell ghost I, oh yeah you've stories. mentioned that before actually i think i have that one in my thing and then i started another one uh called Sm- uh small town dicks uh it's about it penises about it's about my it's head. about we- no uh so it's funny because yardley smith is one of the hosts and if you know anything about the simpsons she's the voice of lisa simpson don't know and her her regular talking voice is very very close it's to lisa pretty simpson. much lisa Ugh. simpson so yeah and small town dicks is, is about murders and 
sex abuse. All it's a, it's a very heavy show because it's these two women, Yarley Smith, I can't remember the other um, lady's name, and they've been friends with these two detectives that are twins. But the uh, one does sex crimes, the other one does violent crimes. And I think they have thirty years, uh, you know, doing these type of uh, cases. And so they they choose a case and they just interview them about it. And it's really well done. Uh, it's interesting because they'll have like you know the case files, recordings, stuff like that, so you to listen to and go around. There's been one or two episodes I couldn't finish because they're they're pretty heavy, pretty graphic. Uh, or because it, well, they, they uh, couldn't lift it up. Child <laughs> death and stuff like okay, that. Things I, that I don't want to hear. Yeah, I, I like the more adult stuff. The the sex crime ones. That's just not Love my sex crimes. That's not my bag, man. Um, because that's where you were going. There was one I was trying to listen. Do you I, watch SVU so much? I was watching. Uh, I was watching. I was listening to it on lunch, and I was like, I, I'm gonna start crying about this little girl that was <laughs> murdered if I don't fucking like go to something else. So I went to another one about a a, a guy that was so out of whack he fucking uh, ran out to shoot up a bunch of cops and got killed. And they're talking about the case. So it's a really good podcast, but just but uh, some of it's a little. If, and they they much. they do pre warn you, and I like so they'll let you know, hey, this one is about this subject. It might be a little hard. So it's not like you're like 15 minutes in and all of a sudden they're like, okay, this is about a time a kid died. And you're like, fuck. I'm like, yeah. So uh, well, really, he, even the outsider, you know, when they talk about a fictional child. Oh, that, that was, was pretty brutal. Yeah. Yeah. The fictional, I can at least go through because I know it's not real. These are true cases. So I'm like, I, I just don't want to, you know, desensitize myself to that by listening yeah. to it over and over again. But great podcast. I've been really trying to. Yeah, you know, I still listen to like you know last podcast, and and I've been putting off doing any more hardcore history just because jumping into that is such a deep dive. Yeah, and it's it, a commitment I, and time and focus. Yeah, and you know we have the the book club book, so I'm, I, I can do a little thirty forty five minute here and there. If I do hardcore history, I'm I'm committing pretty much <laughs> eight that hours. Time. Entire yeah, that month is yeah. gone. Yeah, so uh, but that's been it for me, TJ. Um, well, this week, uh, picked up a couple new uh, Hot Toys figures. Yes, you did. Um, got the uh, Captain America Star Spangled Man, mm-hmm. which is, uh, figure-wise, it's not, uh, aesthetics-wise, it's really cool. Yeah. Um, but the body underneath sucks. So The post abilities <laughs> not yeah. this as is good. This uh, is the figure from Captain America, the first Avenger, yes. where he's in the like show suit. Yeah, he's in the USO, yeah. USO stuff, uh, yeah. war bonds. Yeah, it, it's pretty cool. It's got little uh, papers of uh, like his uh, lyrics and everything. Or his words that, that he used sta- to read. That he taped inside the shield. It even comes with some <laughs> tape that you could tape it inside the shield if you wanted to. Oh, serious? that's crazy. Yeah, it's fucking awesome that's actually um, pretty rad. a little the shovel also that you can flip out yeah it's got a damn e-tool with it like a 1940s e-tool that it actually turns cool. out it, it's badass I, I thought you'd really enjoy that I, I, see do, I mean considering like a lot of the guns you get you know from hot toys have functioning actions yeah uh it doesn't surprise me but really, really cool yeah, yeah. The, the submachine gun he has has like uh the bolt will pull back the side will come up the um that uh, the magazine comes down. The battle damage terminator. I have the 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 gun that is basically made to just stick into the 1911 into his pants has a sliding action and the magazine comes out of it. The damn uh, uh, Winter Soldier from the Winter Soldier was amazing. Yeah, because I had the Doctor Strange, so I have no weapon. So that's why I was like, what? Yeah. Oh yeah. No, the the, the detention to detail on like military stuff. They they go quite well. I, I even I forget. Where, but somewhere along the lines, I got like an actual like M4 AR15 type thing, mm-hmm. and the damn slide on the back pulls out, you mm-hmm. know. So it's just it's crazy the, the yeah. amount of detail that goes in. A lot of th- wow. a lot of times, I think, man, this shit is not worth the money. But other times, I'm like, this shit is totally worth the money because the yeah. detail. I didn't know all that. Holy Especially shit. like the John mm-hmm. Wick I'm gonna get. I can only imagine the time of those fucking guns and stuff operate. Because mm-hmm. he comes with all the John Wick two stuff. The uh, uh, so to watch that. Yeah, the AR-15, the Benelli, uh, the HK. Yeah, that thing the is Glocks. loaded out. It's awesome. Um, the second figure I got was the Infinity War Thor. It, I've only seen pictures, of, and it looks, uh, God, it looks amazing. It, it's probably beautiful. one of the best figures I've ever seen. It's probably the best figure I've gotten this year. And I've gotten some really standout figures. Is it the best figure? Because that Yondu was incredible. Yondu. I, I'm not discounting Yondu at all, because no, Yondu's yeah. still... That amazing. face sculpt was beautiful, and you do but but this Thor man, it's just the it's, features it includes the 
the that's what I saw the, the design the design the, the add-ons the extras yeah it is just a, right. like a whole package it 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 is probably my favorite figure this year even without the lightning constructs it's a beautiful fucking figure yeah. did you I, change your mind on the light up stormbreaker I am not going to get this light up stormbreaker <laughs> what, they have now. a light up stormbreaker to come with it no or? it's a third party it's one. a third oh, okay. party that you can get and no. um, he got burned by the uh, by the light up kryptonite spear. No, actually, that was pretty cool. I I actually gave that to Nathan. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it was. Oh, nice. Yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just good, well, you got the battle damage <laughs> bat armor. I thought, which came with one. I know two would have been nice. <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't have two, Mike. You know, um, Nathan needs gets everything two. for free. <laughs> it's a Christmas present. I, I believe he's you got a DX thirteen for Christmas last year. Actually, DX10, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, DX10, excuse me. Yeah, it wasn't the battle damage one, but the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Alan. Fuck you. <laughs> Love you, too. Um, Thank you. But yeah, this the so, Thor's amazing. So yes. what figures would you say are better than it that you have? Because you, 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 no, you're I, getting quite a collection these days. I think yeah. the, the George Bush one you have. <laughs> yes. When that's, he's dressed in the flight suit. Amazing, the Kevin, that is still an amazing figure. Yeah, the Kevin Spacey one that you cut together. <laughs> I've got him now where he's like... He's no longer jumping in the air. No, is he's he, still I, jumping in the air, but he's ripping his shirt open. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think is even better. So maybe you could get like like <laughs> maybe a diorama from singing in the rain like the pole when he's kind of like hiding behind the street pole <laughs> with binoculars. <God>. Um, <laughs> as far as my favorite figures that I have, well, better figures. Okay, better figures. Shoot. Who I, yeah. I just want the Age best. of Ultron cap. Is okay. still yeah. really good. That's probably my favorite, like regular cap. Yeah, sure. It's the the colors, the the, the features, and everything. That's just solid. The magnetic shield, so cool. Yes. Um, that's a hard one on the spot. It is a hard one on the spot. I have to look. What she said because yeah. oh, last year was the Doctor Strange one, the one that like everyone said was I the figure of the year. That. Doctor Strange is really good, but Doctor Strange, the um, the Suicide Squad Batman. Is still oh, yeah. very fucking good. All the cool good. shit it came with, man. I'm still pissed about that. Yeah, that that Batman's still really good. But I got my nightmare. Um, Batman. yeah, <laughs> I would be okay with that. Yeah. Um, Batman with a duster. That's double cool. <laughs> the DX7 fast is one. still who is the no, seven? Uh, that's Seven's Luke, Luke Skywalker. Oh, that the, was a good one. Um, Bespin? Bespin. Oh yeah, that's still a solid, solid set. Cool. Yeah, I, still, I like that fucking spawn yeah. you still have. I think that thing is amazing. The, the, the Batman was, armory is still good. Taste. I know it, oh. it, it didn't come out this year, but that Batman armory is really good. Yeah. Cool. Um, and I read two. Well, I would listen to uh, two audible things this week. Um, uh, Nick Offerman's uh, book "Paddle Your Own Canoe," which was a lot of fun. It tell it you no know, kind of goes through his life story, where he grew up, and all that stuff. Out is like his uh, autobiography. Yeah. It's it's a lot. I of fun. grew up in a town that it's none of your damn business. <laughs> the, it, was, it was called Very Good Town. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah it's uh, uh, a town in Illinois. I can't remember the name. It starts with an M. It's a little south of Chicago. My town. And he's um, spent a lot of time in the Chicago theater scene, and that's where he came up. Um, moved to Los Angeles, did a lot of bit parts before he finally got Parks and Rec. Mm-hmm. But um, it was just really neat. Hearing how Deadwood, yeah, he had the Deadwood. Uh, I think it was a single episode that he was in, and he talked about that. And I remember talking about it, his 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 uh, carpentry company. Yes, he talked a lot about that, and and um, you know how his sisters are better woodworkers than he is. And what is he narrating yeah. this also? Yeah, of course. Yeah, he's yeah, reading his I'll own book. It it's it's awesome. Anything Nick Offerman uh, is, I would say, like a. Uh, Near Will Patton, as far as like I think narrator ability. Will Patton, good. yeah, yeah. You wouldn't know, Ray. I don't he, know. He does a really good job on it. And the other one I read uh, was the Audible original. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I didn't know about these, and I flipped on uh, Audible, and they're talking about, hey, get these free Audible originals, Two free yeah. every month. Mm-hmm. So it's like, well, I haven't done this yet, and I looked, and um, I saw there was one called Twain Speece, and the other one was the one by Stephen Fry. I can't remember it right off, but the a vulgar Vic- a Victorian era. Yes, one, the vulgar, yeah, the vulgar Victorians. 
Um, so I downloaded those two. I've gotten through Twain's Feast. Um, the auto audio quality goes in and out because some of it's like live recording. Oh, that's and strange. It's, yeah, it's it's a little weird. Well, well that's right because uh, well, Nick Offerman uh, has been connected to a lot of Twain narration. Yeah, like he did uh, a Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court, which I never finished. I'm about Who halfway you through about it. That? And some other books, uh, but one thing Twain did a lot for money was he would go around on circuits and read his book on stage. Yeah, and that's probably why Nick Offerman was doing it because he likes to mimic Mark Twain a lot. Yeah, he does. Okay. He's, he's style trying to mimic that kind of going around doing lecture circuits and stuff like that, like Twain did, and so they. It goes into a lot of Twain's life and and how he did things and um they this feast is a list of foods when he was doing a tour of Europe that he was like man I really wish I was back in the states he listed like eighty foods that he was just really <laughs> into so they narrowed it down to an eight course meal and they got some sco- some Twain scholars and a couple and they got like Wanda Sykes um on there too. And a couple other uh, reporters and stuff, and they sat down and they just had this chef prepare prepare all these meals that Mark Twain said he liked or would or inspired by, because some of the ingredients you can't get anymore, like uh, prairie hens, you can't uh, get okay. prairie chicken anymore, really. Yeah. So they substituted it with a uh, uh, soy and um, uh, like a tofu and corn thing, because soybeans and corn are one of the reasons that there's no more prairie hens. Um, at, or in the numbers that they were, and that type of thing is very interesting. Like I said, the audio quality is in and out, but yeah, I'd recommend it if you get a chance to check it out. Okay. It's free, so Mike, we need yeah. to start our our audio book reading. Already done it, and that's pretty much all I've got. Well, nice. that was our intense. Seems like everybody had a full week for nerd ons. Yeah, that was a full ass fucking nerd on, guys. Full turgid. Yeah, Vaney. We'll be right Nerd back. On. Ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to introduce you to the newsman of the evening. Jimmy Ray Hancock, come on now. He's with the news. You're going to read the news now. Jimmy Ray, he's with the news. Hey, Ray, what type of news you got tonight? Well, I hope it's good. All right, guys, we got some news up in here. Uh, first off, let's start off. Uh, Disney, the Disney Fox uh, purchase got approved by the European Union. There's a few little things that they're going to have to get rid of in the European market, but uh, that was the next big hurdle yeah. in uh, all of this going through. They ha- they still have to do China, which is the next big one, but yeah. after that, it's That's pretty it's much done. done. It's, was it was approved stateside? Yeah, it yeah, was, that yeah, was, it was the was first pro- thing it was approved. It was approved so quick stateside. Uh, and there, there were some things they have to get rid of some like local sports stuff and all. Yeah. And with this, it was like more like I don't know, like nature. It sounded like their National Geographic stuff, but yeah. not that. That wasn't included in it. Like stuff like that. It, like, it um, was really H- strange. Yeah. But it was a very minimal that they're going to have to get rid of. But it's good to go in Europe. So that's the big one. That um, China is the next one. That's uh, kind of a, not really a hurdle. Like, I don't think they care. It's just to go three for three, hit the hat trick oh. on it. Yeah, that <laughs> hits the Asian market. It's got to grease some palms, man. Yeah, yeah. With some yens. Uh, Deadwood. The film has <laughs> finally... I'm surprised this wasn't the first thing on the fucking news, man. Well, honestly. I've got him in order. Well, he's got uh, his Marvel.com news, and now he's got his... But you know how much this man... Deadwood.com. <laughs> you know how hard on for Deadwood he has. So I'm I surprised have you first. watched Deadwood before? I have. I own the first season. I've never watched it. You are an idiot. <laughs> I bought it like years That's ago. That's things that You're an dead idiot right would now. say. I, but you, you like it so much. So it's I don't know if I'm gonna so watch good. it. Remember how bad Nathan criticized Blaze for Terminator Two? No, Ray see, is, I never Ray lied is, about it. I never. I said I own it, but I've never watched it. That, That's like a lie. Why do you yes. own it? If you're I not going to watch it. I was going to watch it. I never got around to it. I saw better things to watch. Because you probably spent like Whoa. $100 if you've had it for long. Because yeah. the HBO season. It was Black Friday I bought it at. Is $50? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah they're expensive. I, yeah, you remember HBO Rages, shows back in the day? When you yeah, bought them, they were fifty dollars a season. They were a hundred dollars a season. Ray just narrowed his eyes. Carnival at you pretty was bad. Oh, he did for what? Yeah, when you said I had better things to watch, Ray just gave you the look of death. Yeah, yeah like Sons of Anarchy. True came Blood on. would be ninety nine dollars. <laughs> Carnival was always a hundred and twenty. Yeah, fucking <laughs> Deadwood was a hundred dollars. Like HBO had fucking some expensive some, yeah. some prices on them. Yeah, I have the whole season on DVD now. I want to do it in Blu Ray. But uh, yeah, that's it. They finally started. Uh, this is af- This is like a decade in the making. Yeah. Uh, they finally started production on it with almost the entire cast. Um, of course, there's some that aren't with us anymore and everything. Yeah. But uh, that yeah. might have been actually one of the hurdles was getting everybody together. Maybe. Yeah. Well, I no. A lot of the hurdles was uh, the the creative team well, and, and HBO had their differences. So I'm. Really excited about this. Uh, they they were able to get almost everyone back. They got your homeboy in it, right? Which homeboy? Ian. Ian. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. They like they couldn't do the show without him. The movie without I'm him. I'm curious, just because I guess I haven't watched a whole bunch of HBO based movies. Like I watched uh, the Entourage one, which was terrible. But it, like the the ones they make so many years after, I'm always like, that's ah, weird. It's like, weird. And and like the, why is there a need for it? Why? Well, season three, like, I had to watch through the whole entire um, show several times to be like, okay, I'm okay with this ending. It's not a real, it doesn't give you a conclusion. It is like, just but it's, it's like, it, kind of, it's sort of. like real life. Mm-hmm. Sometimes shit happens and this was the end of our story. And I had to, like, decide i'm okay with that you had to accept it because you had no yeah. choice at the time yeah, yeah. so it, it'll be interesting because I, I know this is going to be a little bit in the future that when um the i think it's south De- uh, um south dakota territory is being turned into an actual state because that was one of the main things of the, of the show mm-hmm. so we'll see <clears throat> uh how it actually is i'm gonna i'm curious i'm all for it man i like the the actors of the show. I watched the first season and I did mm-hmm. enjoy it. You did or didn't? No, I did. Okay, I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a, it was a good show. I it's one of those shows. It's just like uh, you know, it's not out anymore. So it was. Yeah. It's so much time to put into it when there's so much new television out. No, yeah. absolutely. It it's one of the uh, like. It's one of the most high quality of the. Uh, of the HBO shows, I feel like like the acting is because so, HBO shows are good. I mean, no, my, Sex in the City wasn't my piece of cake, but it's still good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Game of Thrones, of course, is incredible, yeah, yeah. but like like Deadwood still holds up. I've I've watched it recently, still fucking good, man. And I've watched a lot, so I, I'm excited to see if this actually does give give everyone a good ending to it because. There's a still a huge following for it, so it was such a big show. Yeah. I mean, like when I, that, I don't was it such a big show at the time because it got yeah. canceled. I I feel like it's maybe more of a cult following afterwards. Well, no, not I, like the show was. I, I guess controversial is not the right word, but uh, people would talk about it because the amount of cussing. Oh yeah, yeah. like it mm-hmm. became, it was a joke to call people cocksucker. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like uh, that was like it, it was on, it was viral before viral was around. Yeah. Like people would talk about it on the news and stuff. You just heard everybody talking about uh, Deadwood because of yeah. the language of it. It was like so over the Which, top. Yeah. When you watch it now, it's compared not. to other things, and, I, and we've had yeah. so much other like HBO content and stuff. Yeah. It's not really that bad. It's no. pretty bad. I mean, not, it, it, to me, it's, it's just it's very foul language. It's not, no, but it fits the story. Well, yeah. and that, that's what they said because they they tried to make it very authentic, but a lot of cuss words back then were things like "dag nabbit" was yeah. actually a cuss word, and yeah, you know, da- uh, "dag gum" and stuff like that. And um, which is just yeah, yeah it's hilarious. just cheesy. Yeah. It's just cheesy now. Yeah. So they're like, well, we had to change some of the language. Heck, nab it! I'm gonna kill that border yeah. dashing son of a yeah. bitch. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, they had to change it to be like yeah, to modern. And, and honestly, intense. like watching it, I loved that because it's in the old west, and it made me feel dirty and grimy to watch it the way like those people probably actually were. Yeah. So I, I love that about it. I thought that yeah. did a great job, and and like Ian McShane is incredible in it. I forget the guy that plays the, um, Bullock in it, but he is so good. There's no real hero in the whole thing. You kind of think there is, and honestly, Nathan, 
Because uh, Al Swearingen in season one, you're like, God, this guy is such a prick. By season two, that's when they like switch switch over, and you're like, Swearinger is Ian McShane. Yeah, okay. he's a prick, but you know I respect him. He it, it's when it goes into that, and it gets yeah. like he gets, he becomes such a a richer character. But uh, moving on, um, we got a confirmation finally. We've heard about this the uh, the Tom Hiddleston Loki show. Um, and I'm not sure how, like, in the article I read, um, it said on Disney Plus. Yeah, that's going to be the official name So now. Disney plays out and Disney Plus is yeah. in. So, um, yeah, the Loki show with Tom Hiddleston is confirmed. They've also concerned, uh, confirmed um, Cassian Andor from Rogue One. Yeah. I've only watched Rogue One once. I don't even really remember like he was which character. I know he was one of the pilots. He was or the something? rebel uh, that was the assassin. He was the rebel assassin from the beginning, where he shot the informant, and he mm-hmm. was the one that kind of led Jin on the on the mission itself. That's what uh, I he, thought. He he owned the droid. Okay, that yeah, that's what him. I thought. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. But he's getting a full series Good. apparently on Disney Play or Disney Plus now. Yeah, it should be uh, interesting to see them flesh that out a little bit. Different um, character, go for it. Well, that and it's um Hispanic character too, which they yeah. haven't really had in a uh, Star Wars. So. Yeah. So that, uh, that and this is the second Star Wars, uh, of course, after Behind the, the Mandalorian, uh, Mandalorian yep. that they've announced. So n- currently, I don't know if this one's like in production. In production, they're probably working on scripts and stuff. But we had the Mandalorian, this, um, the Cassian and Andor. And Loki and the Scarlet Witch with Vision and the Cappy Bu- Ca- uh, Cappy Bucky Falcon. <laughs> Bucky Falcon. Um, Are they going to put that up? Is it Star Wars Resistance? The new animated is that yeah, going to be on, on there the, also? That's going to be on there as well. Oh, I okay. thought that was going to be on XD. Is it? I thought yeah, so. I, th- I think it is on XD. Yeah, and, you're and right. It may I end think up Clone being Wars on is on Plus. Yeah, I think you're right. But okay, I don't think they've announced that. Yeah, Clone Wars season seven is on Plus, and it but. Uh, Resistance is on XD. Okay, because because it was new, I figured, but they were making it as a, original content to be on the Disney Plus. So no, they okay. still want the cable viewership. Gotcha. So, yeah. So with all of these new shows that they've announced, um, how how are y'all feeling on the Disney Plus? Is this something you'll pay for? Price point is going to be a key. Yes. Well, they're saying it's going to be under Netflix. That's eleven dollars. Eleven something. So. Nine ninety nine. Yeah, I mean, I would imagine it'd be ten bucks uh, with that content, and then the catalog that they'll probably have from their own original other I, shows and movies that they have. I I want to know what their catalog is going to be. Well, I haven't. That's what I, I want to know. I read an article, and I don't have it. I can't link to it or anything. Yeah, and this right is something now. I read um, that said that a lot of their that this is all going to be family content. And then their other stuff that's a little less family oriented yeah. is going to be going to Hulu because now they own two thirds of Hulu. So that's that's what I've read. Huh? I don't know that that's if not that's the case. That's, that's fine. a rumor. That, I'm fine with that. I yeah. can. Yeah. yeah. If it is ten dollars, is this something Nathan you would pay for? Maybe. I mean, like I said, content will be the biggest thing. I'll definitely try it out. You know, um, like the Marvel stuff isn't a big draw to me. I mean, I'm, I'm always interested in it, but I really don't care about a Loki story or, uh, a Scarlet, Win- Witch. Scarlet Witch. I'm sure they're good. And, uh, you know, I might ultimately be like, Oh, I'm a real big fan of it. But hearing about them, I'm like, yeah, well, I don't care. It is interesting it's, it's, that they're able to pull in these big time actors. But they're to not their really stuff. that big time. Like you said, like the guy that plays Tom Hiddleston, it, all the movies he's done, he's, he flops his besides Marvel. He's, he really doesn't get anything going. Like he doesn't do a lot of movies. Yeah, he hasn't been kind yeah. of a big thing on his own. All the people, all these actors are actors that are TV caliber actors, and that's why they're like to me second fiddle. Secondary. In our, in you the didn't middle. enjoy Kong Skull Island. Yeah, but he wasn't that great in it. Did you see the uh, Hank Williams movie? They, they didn't. I wanted to see the Hank Williams movie. I haven't that seen. I want to. Could, I'm not saying. Again, I'm not saying he's see, not a bad actor. I'm yeah. saying the movies he does are but, not that successful. But again, it was a wanted to see and yeah. didn't bring me to the theater to see him in it. Yeah, I went and saw sure. Kong Island to see fucking Kong. Yeah. Exactly. And John Goodman. I don't. Um, I don't think he would. I don't think that. Uh, I think it was called Shine the Light or not Shine the Light, something. But it, I don't think it was in Lake City because that's one I would have gone to see. Yeah, the Hank Williams one. I would have watched that. Um, well, like I said, just, uh, yeah, I, was, I, there's movies I've heard. I know Ray's went to Gainesville to see. 
Yeah. And there's mostly that, only Wes Anderson stuff. Exactly. So sometimes that stuff doesn't get played. So here. Tom Hiddleston isn't enough to bring you to Gainesville, but Wes Anderson is. Well, Wes so, Anderson yeah. is one of my favorite directors, so I'm gonna go somewhere to see him. Well, I'm, I'm just yeah. saying, I'm 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 agreeing with Nathan as far as this is that quality of yeah. guy. He's not gonna bring. You, he's not gonna make you go to a theater to really watch a movie about him. There's there's almost True. no actor that I would be like, oh, they're in a movie. I have to go to another city to see. Exactly. Yeah, but, director is different than actor to me. But with that being said, like most actors now, there's no actor that's not too good to do movies or shows anymore. No, yeah. you know, like yeah, look at shows look, are high look quality. What Netflix, I mean, they've brought in Brad Pitt. They get, I mean, honestly, John C. Riley. There's so like all these huge actors do Netflix like shows yeah, they had and Kevin movies. Spacey for a while. Yeah, Chris, Pine, yeah. Chris Pine's yeah. in that new movie that's so, getting some good uh, reviews. The Witcher now with uh with yeah. Superman. Superman. So for, for Disney to get these guys, it, number one it makes sense, and then also like you know I'm sure they're, they're still also probably under contract. That's why I was about to say their contracts yeah. might have stuff tied to it. But this is good for them because it's more exposure for them as actors to grow their mm-hmm. character, expand out, yeah. and mm-hmm. then maybe help them become that bigger draw because. And I only use uh, old Loki because he is such a favorite fan favorite in the Marvel movies. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it's the Vision, Scarlet Witch is a like. Yeah, I get the comics, but I was like, I don't know if I'd want to watch a show about them. I, out of all, I'd be interested to I'd, see Vision fleshed out more and see what he can yeah. really well, be and about. Scarlet Witch. I think those two need more fleshing out. Yeah, and and to me, I would much rather watch a series about those two. Yeah. Than watch a movie that's trying to force Absolutely. a story on you in in, a in the middle of some it, like a life or death situation. Time. Yeah. And the same with like Bucky and Falcon. Like, I yeah. don't find that guy that plays Bucky to be that. I don't know. Entertaining. I think he's yeah. pretty good. I, I think he's boring. I yeah. like, uh, and it might be just the character of or how they've developed Bucky, but he's just a very. I think that he's forgettable. I don't really remember anything about it him. It could be anybody. Yeah. Just yeah. have them be quiet. He's just a long run around and shoot. That. That's yeah. it. And that's just it. Bucky has been quiet and yeah. shot people. That's yeah. pretty much. No, it could be well, anybody. He's been in those movies. Because Nathan said he looked like a guy from Thirty Seconds to Mars. Yeah, yeah he did. Um, yeah. Falcon guy. He's an enjoyable actor. I think he's got a very. Uh, that's why I think this one will be good because I think it's going to be more of a buddy cop and, kind of and that, and that would make sense, and it'd yeah. be a lot of fun. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. then you got the wild card, and then you yeah. got your comic relief. Mm-hmm. You know, um, so like I said, it's Disney. They're obviously pouring a lot of money into this. I'm more. I would be more interested in the Star Wars stuff they're going to be yeah. coming out with. Well, the Mandalorian yeah. honestly yeah, Mandalorian. is, even though I'm a Marvel guy, that's my top. Yeah. Well, you got you got that's just, the one that I want to see. You got John fucking Farva, like yeah, a, like yeah, yeah like a Favre directing. Farva, as far I always forget his name. <laughs> John Favreau. That's Favreau. A that's it. Yeah. That, uh, I, when you said they're going to put. The family friendly stuff on plus and more that's not exactly super family friendly but it could be on hulu and that's a complete rumor i'm not 100 percent sure i but read that in an article if that does happen i think that would kind of piss me off because i don't want to pay for to split and watch so the thing is, two different services you're already paying yeah. Most people are already paying for Hulu. If they've got yeah. Netflix, they've almost certainly got Hulu that's yeah that's I do Netflix and Hulu I don't yeah. do oh, no, but I don't want to have to go Disney Play, Hulu, and Netflix. What's the way of the future, man? I I kind of get it. Uh, and well, again, if, that is kind of the way of the we're future. Getting away from the uh, the like the, the cable, cable comes and, like and we're getting back to it by yes. doing all these different but subscriptions. If, but why not just have where like Netflix has a login for a user and kids. Do it that way. That, I think that's because not adults, what moving adults wanna, don't want to log into somewhere and then click kids so they can watch yeah. Age of Ultron. You know, like because that would be family friendly. I think you know it becomes to that type of stuff. Yeah, I, th- I think. And honestly, I, I the only thing that's not going to be it has to be pretty heavy for it to go to Hulu because, like, you know, the Marvel movies they're action movies. They're definitely family movies, oh, yeah. but they're you know so you're going to get a majority of your stuff that's going to be on the Disney Plus. Yeah, they're yeah. still PG thirteen. So PG thirteen or less is probably going to be on the Disney, Disney doesn't stuff. really they they have you know parent stuff that is where they mm-hmm. release all their R ratings and stuff. Yeah, they've got like Miramax and um, yeah, that's where you'll get the Fox. And yeah, all yeah, that shit. Yeah. or the hardcore Fox stuff. Yeah, that's where that will go. Fox after dark. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got? Um, Kevin Duran, uh, you, you may know from if you've watched The Strain or the movie Legion Lost. He was in Robin Hood. He was in Origins. Um, was he in Legion? He was one of the um, uh, he was one of the main angels. I don't remember which one. Gabriel, Paul, I think he was Gabriel. 
Oh, you're not talking about the TV show? Nope. No. Okay, I thought you were talking about the Paul Bettany movie. said Legion, okay. the movie. Okay. Uh, X-Men Origins, he was in Stargate SG-1. He's going to be playing the main villain in Swamp Thing. He was Blob in uh, X-Men Wolverine yes. Origins. Oh, okay. okay. He's going to be playing Je- uh, Jason Woodrue, also um, known as the Floronic Man. Okay. I, I know nothing about this character. Me neither. I know it's supposed to be in the uh, Alan Moore series, the s- but I, I own those. Haven't gotten into it yet. Uh, but yeah, he's going to be playing that character that's going to be the main villain. And Derek Mears, who is going to be the Swamp Thing, that's, uh, Swamp Thing is, of course, being done by um, James Wan. Mm-hmm. And uh, Derek Mears ha- was the Predator in Predators, and uh, Jason in the new reboot. Yeah. Okay. So I thought they were going to go a female for Swamp Thing. Wasn't that something they were talking about, or is that a comic? Never heard no, of that's the other. That. That's the other movie, Swamp Thang. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in other, uh, <laughs> that's the adult this. movie version. Hey, 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 hey. I'm from the swamp, y'all. I'm and you don't want to get done. Ain't no man gonna come tell me what to do. Mm, you want some of this plant matter? Mm, mm-hmm. Gotta work for it. Mm-hmm. Swamp Thang, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys! No, I thought I remember. Uh huh. Chuck, you over there with those stuff. Want to get your haircut? Swamp thing and come in and smack your ass. Mm-hmm. So, uh, mm-hmm. moving on to uh, some HBO uh, yeah. Watchmen, the Watchmen TV show. So, uh, I watch Men all the time when I'm in my trailer. I bet you do. Jeremy Nathan. Irons <laughs> as uh, old Demandius. Yeah. yeah. I thought Ozzy this Mandus. was interesting. Yeah, Jeremy Irons is going to be playing Ozzy Mandus. Aunt Ma- Ozzy Ozzy Mandus. 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 Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is a pr- th- number one. This is a pretty big get for that show. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like Jeremy we- Irons pretty much do anything. He was in the Dungeons and Dragons movie. <laughs> he's a British actor, and, and the they last pretty two much will do anything. Batman movies. You want me to be in the movie? All so, right. are they going to put a big amount of the budget into DJ? DJ? Oh my God! I'm DJs. Drunk. They're going to have so many DJs. His ass like Sam it's like Jackson. All their movies. Because he's techno. old. He looks old as fuck. I don't That's know. true. He Maybe you're getting old. a older. I uh, style Watchmen. Yeah, I thought they had said something oh, that about that. True. Yeah, they said it was like a post. Uh, uh, okay. uh, didn't you say the story was uh, they they got a hold of Rorschach's journal mm-hmm. and kind of shit's hitting the fan again? Isn't that what you had said? No, that was uh, the uh, Doomsday Clock. That's the Doomsday yeah. Clock. Maybe they're going off something like that. Oh, okay, that I don't know. Different. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I, I'm they, good d- with it. I. Do not see them doing any de aging. They don't have that. That that's no, no. That's not something. That's blockbuster that's, movies. That's dumb to do. Yeah, uh, when you don't have to do it. Like exactly. they could just uh, get an actor that was the or right they just age. get some safety pins and take they, the skin back. Yeah, yeah, they could get the actors that were in Watchmen uh, yeah. in the movie Watchmen and bring them back because none Who of those guys Ozzy really. Because he did decent, he was good. He all of them were good. Man, that was a yeah. that's still a good a good one good of the movies. best. Screw all of you people that think it's not because it was. No, yeah, it's it one of the best was. superhero movies. And I, I love, and I love the comic. The comic is so yeah. fucking good. But yeah, that was a good adaptation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Deadpool. We've been talking about this PG thirteen Deadpool <laughs> that's coming out on um, December twelfth, apparently. And it's a short run because it's only running to the twenty first. Okay, that's interesting. So it's only a nine day run. Mm-hmm. So you have to watch it before in that time frame, or you're not going to get to see it. And uh, so we got a until you buy it on video. But yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, we December twenty second, <laughs> <laughs> just in time for Christmas. Yeah, exactly. We got a uh, like a a poster for it, and it's of course fucking. It's pretty funny poster. Deadpool on a fucking unicorn with um, Fred, Savage. Fred Savage, and uh, this is. This one, this iteration of Deadpool 2 is called Once Upon a Deadpool. Yeah. So, uh, man, they're just so good at Deadpooling. Yeah. You know, I guarantee, like, when they were pitching the sequel, they're like, listen, not only are we going to make a great sequel, but then we're also going to shoot additional scenes yeah. for PG-13 to go back in and make more money. <laughs> no, absolutely. This is the easiest best way for them i don't know will it they said a lot of the proceeds from this are going to uh the fuck cancer foundation god this is awesome. but they Better. changed they changed it from fuck cancer to uh like fuck Fud, cancer or fuck cancer uh because it's pg-13 you can't say that's fuck cancer. hilarious <laughs> but you get one fuck yeah, that's true uh, but that's they don't want to waste it on the poster not to come uh, yeah. Back oh, yeah, yeah. with preacher <clears throat> But although it's an AMC show, they get one unbleeped fuck a season. Really? <laughs> yes. Nice. A one season? a season? I heard that yes. they were slowly uh, putting fuck on uh, network TV, and I was like, oh, wow. That's what's up. Fucking A. Fuckin so here's a. a rumor for you. 
Take it for what it is. Um, Matt Ray's Sm- stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Man, but man. Finally, somebody else besides me. So, uh, Matt Smith is going to be in episode nine of Star Wars. This is weird. This is the rumor. Yeah. He's going to be playing a young Palpatine. Matt oh. Smith, of course, of Doctor Who yeah. status. Um, he was also in a he Terminator could, movie, too, I think. He could pull off the role. I think he could. <laughs> Why are you having a young Palpatine? Exactly. Excellent. Because it's like it's gonna years have to be, in the future, unless it's a flashback. I know. It's, yeah, it's, it's got to be a gonna flashback. It's got to be a flashback. But would you use someone like a Matt Smith? Wh- uh, no. Whether he's a good actor or not, no. he is a name. And would you pay that money to put an actor like that, of that caliber, into a flashback? I don't know who this guy is. Star. He's, he's one of the Doctor Who's. Uh, no, he's, he's one, one of the, the more, more popular ones. ones. Yeah. Uh, it's they, also like he's probably they, not expensive. Though. When they had uh, Simon Pegg. Well, yeah, as that one character in The Force Awakens. It was Simon all CG. Pe- yeah, and Simon Pegg will, wants to be in stuff and will be in stuff just to be in stuff. Yeah, and that's, this is different. That's the thing. There's a lot of, I mean, like Daniel Craig was in there in a Stormtrooper Storm uniform. Yeah, you you never kn- knew he was in it. And there was uh, that scene with that was supposed to have like Prince Harry and Prince William that was mm-hmm. cut from episode eight. Yeah. Um, People just want to be part of this. Yeah, so yeah maybe Star Smith Wars wants to be if, part of it. Yeah, if. You, He's like, fuck, I'll do a fucking I, it flashback scene. It probably depends scene. on yeah. how much yeah, content is in it. You know? Is it just a... F- I don't see it being... I, I'm almost it like, can't take up much time because there's no point. Those people yeah. were never announced as like, mm, oh, they're going to be in the film. This, no. is, Matt has, though. Yeah. So this is, and, and it's been said he's going to be like a pretty pivotal part or at least a bigger part in the film. Why, though? Um, mm, I don't know. Ray, and, and that's again, my granddaughter. This, <laughs> is a ru- this is a rumor. Yeah. So, yeah. so he's I'm probably going to be just walking by on the screen at one point. Uh, no, I think he'll have a little or bigger he'll come in with a sonic screwdriver and save yeah. the day. This is kind of a nerd nerd win type yeah. thing, you know? So Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't like, I don't like my, my food to mix. <laughs> I don't I like my that. genres to mix I, I get you. I like that's, my mashed that's potatoes and my gravy separate. <laughs> Just drink the gravy. <laughs> like a shooter. Space exactly. Opera? So um, we'll, I we'll see. Chaser. I mean, this is still a little ways away, so we'll see yeah, what, what I mean, actually happens what, with this. Next December? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Avengers 4 is the current cut up of it is at three hours. And we had an inter- interesting discussion on our uh, chat about intermissions and films and everything because we we're like, at what point? I was sure that at some point it was law that you had to have an intermission after a certain amount of time. But I, I couldn't find anything on that. Yeah, I looked because. Uh, was that related to maybe theater? Yeah. As opposed to movie theaters, well, I don't know. No, I don't no, think. I don't movies, think it's because I thought that was the, the reason. I don't why think you it's didn't. a law. I think you do it just because, well, like, uh, like a convenience. Convenience. Well, like, in because uh, well, I was cause, reading about it, and in India they do a lot of intermission. But the yeah. reason they do is because people go buy more snacks and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. And also, if you need to go to well, the bathroom, I, you can I, I would leave without well, missing anything. Yeah, I would have swore at one point I had read about it because they always keep they a lot of films would always keep them under like. They would do them at two hours and fifty minutes to keep themselves from having to put an intermission in. Because uh, I don't know. Because uh, I guess maybe I made that up in my mind. Because I remember going to see Titanic. There was no intermission on that, and that's a pretty long movie. I don't think it's yeah. three hours though. I it was two I VHSs. That's what I always judge on yeah, a long. That's true. Yeah. I think it's a lot like uh, charging nineteen ninety nine for something. Instead uh, of twenty dollars, fourteen minutes. But I was. I think there it was, was an long? intermission. Three fourteen. I, no, there was no intermission on. Are you no, sure? I'm there was positive. It. Okay. And that because like well because TJ when, when I mentioned that he was like well there was this 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 and I remember going and seeing. I the was Hobbit. making a joke actually. Oh, okay, because <laughs> okay, I was like Mike I caught it real quick. Uh, he was saying there were th- two intermissions because there were three films, uh, okay. but yeah. it should have only been one film. Yeah, Mike caught it right off. So I, uh, yeah, I caught it. <laughs> and there was the intermission, <laughs> in, but there was there were a couple other films that have had intermissions. The uh, the Grindhouse one was of course for effect. Yeah. yeah, so that wasn't like a real one. You sat through that's that because you wanted to see yeah. the fake trailer. Because I was recent, and like uh, they had like list of all like 
like Western cinema that had uh, intermissions on it. And it's been a long time since there's been like I guess a legit intermission, intermission. in the movies. Yeah, expect because they say and the, the main reason is just it's money. They don't want to take that time. That's less time that you can get to the next movie. Less people in the exactly. seat. But it's like thirty minutes. Like you, you if you're putting ten minutes per film. Um, and you're only going to get to play that film two or three times a day. Just going by what it said there. I no, mean, like, I um, so I, I was kind of surprised, but I, I mean, fuck, make Avengers four four hours. I don't care. Give me another. Yeah, was the other one like two and a half? Two at least? hours and forty minutes. Yeah. So you're how not long much the last off. One was. This is twenty, 20 more, more minutes. minutes. Yeah. I I could honestly have sat in a, in Infinity War another twenty minutes. Yeah. As as much stuff as they crammed into that. Yeah, I was about to say it probably would have let the movie breathe a little bit more. It, it did not feel like two hours and forty it minutes. Did not. No, the it did second not. showing I tried to go to that night, I felt it at that point. Yeah, but you had already been to it yeah. once. I, know, I I watched it three times in the theater and yeah. I I never felt like no, man, I, this is dragging on. No, when I watched it again this week, it was not like Man, this needs to get over. It's it faster. I've still mm-hmm. only watched it once. I started it twice, and yeah. I, I keep. I get to the point where uh, Iron Man runs into Doctor Strange, and I always stop it. I don't know. Like, yeah. Oh wow! I still. Mm-hmm. It's, I'm enjoying. It. I just like. I'm You're like. Yeah, I, don't, I don't have. I don't no, want I don't to have the time. Two I don't and a half hours. Yeah, I, I. I misjudged what I really wanted to do, and it's yeah, not I, this. I. I think it's again. I think they're trying to. It's it's tough to sell a crowd on a three hour movie and say this is three hours. Do you really think that I people would, look into it that much? It? I think sometimes I think you do when you buy your ticket. It tells you how how long the movie well, is. Well, you've done bought a ticket. They don't yeah. care. Then. Yeah. I never look yeah. at that. No, when you're on on the Regal app or when you're up there at the oh yeah, that's right. They, 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 they tell you how long this movie is, and sometimes you know you're looking at it, it's like man, I'm going out to dinner. You know, and I got to do this. If I'm going to the movies, I never have anything planned afterwards, usually. Or before I'm like, literally. It's it's, when this is over, I will do this. Yeah. But uh, yeah, once in a blue moon, I'll be like, oh, hey, texting someone, I'm in a movie. It'll be out in two hours. At the same time, this is a pretty iconic movie where I think you. With this level of movie and this big of a movie, you're able to kind of dictate like where people are going to go. Hey, I'm I'm going to see this. Yeah, I, I've absolutely. watched the first one, which was a huge <laughs> movie. I want to see the conclusion. It, it could be like said. Well, you know what? We started shooting, and it's actually going to be two more movies. <laughs> you know, yeah. Like, if if this turned out to be three hours as long, <sighs> the Russos haven't done like anything where I would be like. This is this could be bad. No, if they need three hours to tell the story that they want to tell to finish the stuff off, yeah, fucking give them three hours. Especially with a what's the big rumor that uh, what was it a, Galactus a, or Galacticus or threat going to come at the than, end than Thanos? Yeah, they're the they're um they don't own that stuff yet, so that won't be. They're in doing there. the VFX. They don't own Spider Man. They're still doing the VFX and everything else right now, and, uh-huh. yeah. and getting all that. So it could trim down. I if they got the story to tell it, go for it, man. Yeah. 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 I'll be there probably yeah. a few times. Yeah, no no matter how long this is, I'm going to watch it. I think there's a lot of nerds out there that are that way. But it's, I th- think there's I think a there's lot of general public. Nerds, yeah. Yeah. I was about to say, two hours and 40 and three hours is fucking pretty much the same minutes. thing. It's yeah. not a big deal. It is. a. It, you wouldn't think 20 minutes. 20 minutes is not it a is big deal. Pee. Yeah. yeah. Three That's why hours, I don't drink though? anything while I'm watching the movie. Three hour tour. Well, yeah. Good job for you, Chuck. You're yeah. not the general public. <laughs> no. I know. So uh, moving stand on. there in the aisle with your arms Kingsman crossed. Kingsman three, <laughs> yeah. big gulps, huh? Kingsman Pissed. three, uh, Taron uh, Egerton. Egerton, Egerton, it will not be playing Eggsy in this one. I'm fine with that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's going to be a completely different story or uh, what's going on. Change it up, man. Yeah, pretty yeah. cool. Pretty cool. I mean, they've done yeah, it with Bacon-Z. James Bond and stuff like that. You know, okay. just make it uh, Men in Black. Let's see. You know, yeah. Roots. Just change it up. Get some new. Listen here, new blood bacony. In it. I'm not stuck on his. Yeah, <laughs> holiday saucy. Yeah. Listen, I'm not stuck on this guy. I don't think he's anything special no. or not special. Yeah, it's like he's he, not a shit actor. He's yeah. not a great actor. He's definitely I, not a great actor. And I think this Robin Hood is that's coming out with him in it is going to prove. Oh it too. shit! I did not I know he was it in looks that. Like yeah, a yeah. huge hunk of shit. Yeah, he okay. looks worse than the last Robin Hood that he's, came out. He's okay. Man. Robin Hood's just gone downhill since Prince of Thieves. Yeah. yeah. Well, how do you top Prince of fucking Thieves? You can't, oh, man. Fucking what, Kevin well, Costner Prince of Thieves come out before or after Men in Tights. Hold on. Yeah, you, you can't 
past men in tights, actually. Thank you. Well, I've men. never seen it. What? God damn it, dude. They're manly men. Oh, he, yes. he didn't have... They roam around the woods. He didn't have TV access growing up. Fights. Your no. parents probably are not His watching this comedy. Like, this like, is the things. devil's work. They're like, what the fuck is that noise? Is that laughing? Turn that the fuck off. <laughs> they just didn't approve of parodies. They seemed disingenuous. Yeah. Have you ever seen Spaceballs? Mel Brooks? Nope. That's... He hasn't seen Loaded Weapon. Oh. <sighs> No wonder Ray has such a terrible sense of humor. (laughs) He he hasn't seen Scary Movie. I don't love (sighs) Mel Brooks stuff. You don't know what you love if you never watched it growing up. He's never seen... He's seen seen Blazing Saddles. I've seen Blazing Saddles. Not for him. I've seen um, Spaceballs. I've seen a few others. Young Frankenstein? No. Oh, man. I think you'd love The Producers, too. I've seen the... Well, I saw the remake of The Producers. I've never seen the original Gene... uh, Gene Hack... Not Gene Hack. Gene Wilder. Gene Wilder one. I don't know why I'm your friend sometimes. <laughs> I never know why, why we're friends. So. <laughs> Me either. I, I question nightly. Is All it, right. And that's it for the news. Every night before bed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, before I, bed. I look at my, my, ch- my chat thread and I go, why the fuck Some do I Some people count sheep. <laughs> Nathan laments his friendship with Ray. That's how he falls asleep. <laughs> and I sleep so fucking terribly. <laughs> Just toss and turn all night. Tomorrow, tomorrow until will be the dot. The, the day. rays of sunshine coming through the window. I'll bring Young Frankenstein over I, next week. I hate Ray. And switch it out with the witch, sunshine. so you can just keep that. You'll never I watch don't know it. Where the Actually, witch the witch is on Netflix now. It is. Yeah. yeah. So it's so like you, it's like it. you got it back. <laughs> <laughs> so I would like to you watch it, it again, Ray or uh, Charles. I would like to oh, hold it and own it. Guys, y'all want to move on to the questions? We got a yes. couple. No, okay. I'm good. Yeah, let's So we have a couple of mailbag questions. Pookie Gall asked, any thoughts on the Funko Gate at Spooky Empire a couple of weeks ago? Yeah, I got some thoughts. So uh, Spooky Empire is basically a horror comic con that happens in Orlando annually. They may be bi-annually because they they, they happen in April and October. it's 2018. It's okay if they're bi-annual. You don't have to spell it out. I was surprised. I had for a con to do two cons a a year. Megacon does it. Mm -hmm. Do they really do? Okay. I didn't know. Tampa Bay and then in Orlando. Okay. Mm -hmm. I thought that maybe I was thinking they do the same location twice a year in different cities. I get that. I think Spooky Empire is in Orlando Orlando both both times. years, yeah. But uh, this this year they had uh, Elvira was there, which of course for horror oh, stuff shit. that's huge. Yeah, yeah. and um, she well, still looks awesome. They've yeah, got her yeah. outfit. Because I she see still it looks great. every year. With, David uh, Duchovny was there and Gillian Anderson. They've, they've wow. had Robert England before. Oh, yeah. serving drinks. Ha ha ha! Because there has been. <laughs> which apparently they had a big falling out with him. He won't come back. Oh. Cause Robert re- England? Re- yeah, because yeah. reading the article, uh, which I mean, we'll kind of go on, but I guess the, the guy that runs this is apparently fucking crazy. Maybe. Mm, runs yeah. con- I mean, like, from everything I More read. Like kooky Empire? <laughs> yeah, so I, I guess... Um, it's good or bad thing. Like the con is they they sold way more tickets than they expected to. Yeah. Um. So they had some problems with parking. Par- parking was really bad, and then all the pre-orders. Everybody that pre-ordered when they showed up for will call took like took two an to hour three. to two hours. But if you showed up the day of the buy a ticket, you were in within five minutes. Yeah, because the the, the wow. pre-order line was really long because a lot of people pre-ordered. But the day of wasn't so long because so everyone had pre-ordered. And so the people at mid could get in like that. Yes. And and also people Which that paid for parking were mm-hmm. having to park 30 minutes away because yeah. they didn't have enough room for the parking yeah. at the hotel. So, like so it said that the, the, the guy who ran the place was like, well, we had almost double the numbers we thought we were going to have. Which is understandable. I mean, we we, we all work at uh, InfinityCon. We know what kind of nightmare this stuff can be sometimes. Yeah. Um, and that's one of my nightmares is all these people that paid online have to wait like an hour to get in. That's not no bueno. Not mm-hmm. cool. Yeah. Not good at all. But they're so much huger than us, <laughs> and, and, and some of the stuff was saying like two, two, th- two and a half, three hours to get in, yes. and the parking stuff that was around there, it was saying like two hours to get parking, uh, to go around the parking lot and try to find parking, and like the traffic was really bad, and um, I know there were a couple of things that I read where people were like, my car got dented up because people because the parking yeah. lot area was dark, was chaotic, mm-hmm. yeah, dark. And chaotic. Um, and then it took me like three hours plus to get inside. Yep. Then on top of all of this, there was a limited edition Queen of Halloween Elvira um, 
pop that Jeez. was going to be there. To, yeah, <clears throat> well, it's an exclusive. Okay. Uh, only okay. to Spooky Empire. And I guess... Not all the stuff got shipped. Yeah, it came in at different days. Yeah, like, the, the it, all the stuff was supposed to be there on a certain day. Wasn't there in time for the con. They got and some. They got some. They didn't get the full shipment. Though. Until Sunday. The full shipment came Sunday. And um, there was a riot. An actual riot. Oh, wow. Yeah, and cops the, had to get involved yeah, to break it up. And the Orlando police had to come in and get involved with all of this. So after all of this, uh, Elvira puts out a thing that says... Basically, hey guys, sorry, um, we didn't intend for this to happen. And Spooky Empire puts out a, a <laughs> statement that, apology. Yeah, that said, uh, "Exclusive means just that; it's exclusive. That means only some people are oh, going to get it." Oh, that's dickish. No. We, we know that the lines were long. We're working to work that out, and we've grown. And we've grown. We didn't know so that, that we were going to grow so it. much. Yeah, it, this, this, these are the difficulties with growing. We know that the lines were long. Sorry about that. But apparently, the staff and the volunteers were very rude. Like, there's just multiple things about, like, because the volunteers had no idea where anything was, what was going on. Which, Probably which Kate, from running a con, can be normal. Yeah, yeah. You give the volunteers information, they don't always retain all of it. Yeah. Uh, as far as the exclusives go, I've been on the receiving end of a exclusive not being available at show. Uh one one of the bot cons I went to, yeah. um, there were a couple of Transformers that were exclusive, and you had to pre-order, it and, and, you, and you were supposed to get them at the show. They had some manufacturing issues. They weren't in from China, and they were really cool about it, though. They're like, okay, we're terribly sorry about this. Mm-hmm. We're going to mail these to your home, They'll and you yeah. will get them as soon as we get them. You'll get them. So, yeah, you got them just a little well, later on. Yeah. And the other thing I was reading was that there were nine-hour lines for this Funko Pop. Jesus this is Christ, that's ridiculous. Yeah, and none, nothing was being communicated. And mm-hmm. I think that's the key. That The key thing yeah. that, from what I read about this, was communication is terrible. Yeah. Uh, the guy that runs it, apparently, unless you're fucking up as a volunteer, he ignores volunteers. So he doesn't talk to him. He doesn't tell him what's going on. But apparently on. the volunteer person is supposed to be awesome. The person, the person that, that runs the volunteers. Well, yeah, because they're saying the only reason that most of the volunteers come back over here is because of that the person that runs it. Not the person yeah. running Spooky but Empire. The guy, like, he's like, you know, it was none of the spooky family that, you know, caused these issues. Like, he had this very, like, elitist vibe is how people are taking it. Yeah. Uh, when they're like, you know, I spent $145. I did all the same stuff. I don't give a fuck if I'm not the spooky family. I'm a customer. I should be treated well. Yeah. And yeah. as far as these pre orders go, these are online pre orders. So you know how yeah. many people well, are coming to this That thing. was what they're saying. They're like, this yeah. guy knew how many tickets they pre-ordered. You yeah. know what's going on. Go count in the parking lot. You're well aware in advance. Like, if you, As you're selling tickets, you're seeing, okay, we've sold X amount of tickets. The whole point yeah. of pre-orders. Yeah. We need to either, number one, stop selling yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because you've sold too much. They or, hit their maximum, but he kept going or, for the money. Or, you know, because I guess the guy was walking around bragging about how much money he made. They're like, yeah. obviously, you're making money. Redo the funds into parking, security, because apparently there was no security. Because um, mm. uh, there was a guy talking about it, like when that when the Funko stuff started going down, he got his wife and got the fuck out. He's like, there was no, there was no metal detectors. There was no bag checks. Someone in here could have a gun. Yeah, and like, which you know, you got to think in yeah. those situations, they legit worry nowadays. Yeah, that you got some hothead that's in oh, there. It's not just a but legit worry. I mean, it's a, it's, it's a downright damn concern. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I, I, I think on this big, I was really surprised they didn't have back checks. No, absolutely. Because like mm-hmm. um, we always we have a police officer on on site that checks this yeah. stuff. That's what I'm saying. Like Infinity Con has that stuff, and then like and this, we're tiny. Yeah, and this is like a, a big, a pretty big size con. I mean, honestly, when I. Like you said, you, they had Robert England there before, Duchovny and Anderson. Not the biggest of big, but still, that's for, some big that's names. That's for horror. That's for horror. That's, 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 yes. that's fucking the biggest of the big. That's fucking Stan Lee level on horror convention. Yeah. You, know, you got fucking yeah, Freddy so Cougar. This thing is bringing yeah. money in, but where's the money actually being? The money's not so being the guy's used properly. Uh, yeah, again, 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 this guy's yeah, funding himself. Yeah. So it's and apparently, yeah, because they were saying there was another time there was an after party and uh, uh, an actress. I can't remember her name, but a, a big actress. She got up there and made a, a, a. She made like a little speech about, I guess, something she was, you know, interested in, like a, a charity. And the guy literally got. I was like, sorry that she ruined the party, and like literally brought it down. Yeah, she was such a oh damn god about one of your fucking guests, your talent that's yeah. up there. So this guy sounds like a fucking piece of shit, yeah. honestly. For oh man. I read. So yeah. now the thing with the 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 riot enticing uh, pop 
That was not Spooky Empire. That was Funko. Well, Funko sends up, but I mean, again, it's, it's Spooky no, Empire is exclusive, but Funko didn't deliver on time. time. Okay. They kind of, and there but, could have been any number of reasons for that because yeah. I'm sure they, are these manufactured in the U.S. I have no Funko. They're probably that. overseas, yeah. like no, in China. No, I just wanted to know if it was another mess up or but, misstep but like said, from Spooky Empire, yeah. or was it? Well, it's a, it's a misstep not only. having the security. Yeah, this is security sure. and fucking communication. Exactly. Yeah. You you put out in advance. Hey, we're we're sorry. These we didn't, didn't get our in. shipments in. They're expected yeah. on this date. I you mean, know? you're going to have longer lines, but then at that point, you go to like a number system or something like that at at the damn ticket booth for yeah. Funko. It or, just I, it's it's not the best situation, but, but it's, it's a, a better, better situation, situation than having a nine hour line. And fucking people getting in that line thinking they're going to get this exclusive and then not. I'm sorry. If the line is nine hours, that's a long fucking line. If just that's something that you, if that's that's something thing, that you yeah. collect, your yeah. collectible thing. Yeah, so, I mean, like, it's not unheard of. I'm, say, I'm know, sure like, still. the other cons for the exclusives, people wait. I mean, that's well, the mere reason they'll go to a con for, is to for the exclusives. signatures and yeah, stuff people like that. camp out. For no, things. absolutely, especially in San Diego. And Legitimately stuff. camp yeah. out. It, like I said, so that's not a big deal. Is, is that not communicated? People not let them know. Hey, the shipment's not coming. Yeah, that, I mean, or it's, it's going to be here. Yeah. It just shows a huge lack of empathy for the customers yeah. on like, Spooky mm-hmm. Empire's yeah. part. Need, sounds like they need better training, better yeah. communication. And I've never gone to Spooky Empire, so I can't speak for myself yeah. on it. Uh, it's not. But this has to affect the fan base that goes well, the next year. Basic customer service, you know, you know alienate Absolutely. your fans, yeah. especially when you know you've made uh, so many screw ups on things that could have easily been taken care of if you just paid attention. I, yeah. mm-hmm. I honestly think a lot of cons are are not really concerned about customer service um, because of what they're providing. They know people will just yeah. they'll come. Well, because well, this yeah. one is one of those quote unquote uh, you know uh, con for the fans by fans is like that's kind of their whole thing is they're not corporate. They're well, and they're, they're one of the bigger like yeah. horror cons. Yeah. Um, so I think that's where it really hurts. Is like this is supposed to be a con thrown by someone that understands. Yeah, you yeah. know your people. It's and, a fan that built this and, con up. And, and like, and when you're relying on volunteers to kind of help, you know, control oh, yeah. yourself, you need to take care of your people. A lot of times, super and, fans aren't usually the best social. Yeah. And, and like I said, yeah, this and, is definitely a, a double sided thing where you got. But when there's so many people like shitting over a con, oh yeah, that's not mm-hmm. normal. Well, and, and that it sounds like it's run by Billy Mitchell. <laughs> they also said in their uh, statement that like this wasn't the spooky family. Uh, that's apparently because yeah. it's supposed to be a, a close knit group of like the people that have been coming for the fifteen. But years. if you've grown so much, like I, I, I think that's very exclusive. Like being yeah. really exclusive, saying that this isn't the family. Um, just because this is someone's first year that they're able to make it out to your convention, they that's, spent the that's, same money on the ticket. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. As soon as you buy now, a ticket, you're part of family. I don't think it's cool to riot. No. Because no, no, that, or for a riot to break out because you couldn't get a Funko Pop, but to I me, don't yeah, think it's just, I, to me. I don't. I think that's just that's from what it sounds like. This the things. straw yeah. that yeah. broke the camel. Yeah, that's like, possibly if you went through waiting four hours for your prepaid ticket. Also, your 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 parking parking shitty experience. parking. You've, you've had you've been here for four hours already, and it's been shit. You show up for another six, nine hours, and it's shit. Yeah. No one's talking to you from everything that on all the the tweets or stuff that people are reading. Everybody's being rude to you when you ask questions. No one seems like they no one give knows a shit. anything. No. Yeah. yeah, like and that's saying like people like the staff was yelling at people like you don't need to be here. Like there was none like hey can you guys move is how it comes across. It's like it's just stress boiling point. Mm-hmm. You got all this chaos and then all of a sudden and all that money you've spent. Yeah, it yeah. Was. You, you've got two hundred dollars into this thing and then they say oh yeah we don't even got the Funko. Like it's led to that point where people just have lost their shit. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. like traveling. All the way to California to go to Wally World, and the fucking place is closed. Yes. <laughs> Pre-internet, fucking so you horrible. couldn't check yeah. on it. Yeah, yeah. It'd, it'd make you want to get a Magnum PI and take out the security there and now, make you go on trips. Saying, Riot, I do wonder what their terminology well, for it. Like, yeah, uh, smelly and, as it was, I'm <laughs> sure it was a riot like, on the, I, I, on the s- I say that's probably more like people yelling, shouting, and it was getting unruly, so the cops took yeah. people out. I don't see, like, you know, fucking light and shit on fire. A, like, if riot. there was a riot... I'm, Throwing tables over, maybe? Yeah. I don't wouldn't know. Wouldn't there be, like, uh, YouTube videos or something of this? That's what saying, there might be. I didn't yeah. look that that's much true. into it. Okay. But, but I, I, no, no, in one of the articles... the bare minimum, Pookie. Yeah. I think it was either the article you posted about it, or I posted there was a link 
for a video for on YouTube. Didn't okay. watch it. I'll have yeah, to check I it out YouTube later. Yeah. I know. I usually will click something like that. I'll check yeah. it out. Yeah, I'm, I'm in for watching a good riot. Right. I was. I just want. I was a teenager during the slap you. So you hate stuff YouTube LA, videos. So. I do. You elite as fuck. I just. Uh, I'm sound. more of a Vimo guy. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> The sound quality just kills me. It's, it's if you click HD, producer. you get high quality. Sometimes on <laughs> some videos. Anyway, so if that, you're watching security footage just make of a up riot, your own commentary, like, Ray. you're not going sound quality on this yeah. riot yeah. sucks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just, I need HD sound quality. Just add my all voice my over to it. Uh, so that's our thoughts on Funko Gate at Spooky yeah. Empire. I know you asked uh, last week, Pookie Gal. Uh, sorry, we weren't able to get to it. It yeah. was after our show um, ended. Ended or we ended? Finished. Yeah, we ended recording. Yeah, so. Ray started to edit. Um, Allison asked, "What's your favorite Thanksgiving side or dessert?" Mm. I fucking love a pumpkin pie. Yeah, hey, I'm a pumpkin oh, pie. I yeah. love a fucking pecan pie. Dude, really? That's yeah. like pie. Can, can you eat those still now? Because your no, diverticulitis you had? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I had my... That's why I had my intestine cut out, so I can still fucking eat pumpkin okay. pie. Or, I mean, pecan, uh, pecan that's pie. That's why I was just checking on that. Yeah, pecan it's, pie, homemade pecan no, pie, pumpkin pie, pecan. Pecan? Pecan, just, pie. pecan pie. Just pie, period, is yeah. probably my I'm favorite I'm a pie dessert. person, for yes. sure. Uh, for, a, for a couple of years, I made a lot of pies. I haven't made any recently. Mm. Um, so, Mike, what's your favorite Thanksgiving dessert? Pecan pie, for sure. Thank you. Thank I love you. it. It's by far my favorite pie. It's superior. Yeah. Not even the pecans, which are delicious. It's the, 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 the gooey, gooey sh- liquid, pasty sugar that is the inside yeah. that is just... It, it's what heaven has to taste like. Yeah. Mm. yeah. It's so good. Now, do you Char- like a, when war- a warm pecan pie or just straight cold? Cold out of the fridge. Oh, yeah. I love it. Cold yeah. pecan. I, I'm more any pie. I, I want it to or be cold. crumbled. I like it when it's or a little bit still in the shell. <laughs> now, Charles, what uh, yeah, yeah. garbage do you tr- do you rummage through on Thanksgiving Day? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what is your... Dumpster <laughs> <boot angles>. <laughs> <laughs> Is your seasons... <laughs> what the um, fuck? Ray is... Uh, Resting Mike's foot on his crotch. Yes. I was trying to massage in into the shoe <laughs> through my shoe. Through the sh- through shoe. I would sole. maybe pay you I ten dollars to do that without my shoe. See, the thing is, my mom would only make uh, fucking pumpkin pie. Cigarette, but dude, <laughs> <laughs> it's just empty just ashtrays. Just, but, uh, it's just a boiled ashtray, baby. <laughs> I would say my my personal favorite would be uh, sweet potato casserole followed by pecan pie because they, they're right there. They're right there. It's, it's, it depends on who makes. It's one of those. It's like who makes it. So side dish as well, right? Yeah, side dessert, dish is, dessert is. Wait, did pie, we get period. Nathan's? Mm-hmm. Nathan doesn't pie. eat desserts. He hates sweets. No, I love pumpkin pie. I know. Pumpkin that's pie. I'm a pumpkin Nathan pie. doesn't eat pumpkin pie. It's pumpkin. I, I think pumpkin maybe pie. the fall pies, the pumpkin and the pecan, are some of my favorites. Oh yeah, I, I love just, a good berry pie, but the fall ones. Pie period. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm I'm all for pies. I'm cherry, pie pie even the ones cake. you guys hate. I'm, cherry pie. I, I love cherry pie. I really don't like pie that much. Like I don't like I like meat pies. But like, oh, I, I love meat pies too. I, I don't like apple yeah. pie that much. I don't like apple. Yeah, I don't like. I don't like. I like all pies, but pumpkin yeah. pie Except just for does it for me. I love I don't chocolate like pumpkin, pie, or I don't like cherry, and it's I don't like sure. apple. I, what? I like, I like. I like apple with a hot of piece of cheddar cheese. But on I do top. like yes. apple dumpling pie. That sounds interesting. That's a completely different. That's thing. That's the way the founding fathers ate it. What now? Apple pie with a slice of big old hunk cheese on top of an apple pie. It is really good. I've never actually tried that. Man, we. When we our, our recent trip to Europe, we know that cheese and jellies are often mixed and are yeah. delicious. Yeah. Yes. Um, a pizza you like you that can also delicious. go to Waffle House and get uh, right. apple pie with uh, yeah. uh, cheese. Their pecan that. pie is really good. They'll warm yeah. it on the griddle and put butter over the top of it for you. I don't even want mm. that. Just give me. I mean, I'll no, try it one day. You do want that. But give me out of the fridge. I mean, fuck, it's Waffle House. I don't need an extra pad of butter on top exactly, of it. Exactly, because it already I'm has already so much in it. I'm the button for right, This guys. is taking a year yeah. off as side. As the, the side dish. Yeah. Let's work on the sides. Okay, right? I'm a big... Well... My family never has mashed potatoes at, your two Ooh, at Thanksgiving, which is potatoes. weird. That is really weird, They actually. don't have macaroni and cheese, which is also weird, and I love those. What? Um, they, my mom does a cheesy potato casserole. 
Okay. okay. That's delicious. Like an au gratin casserole? No. Or scallops? It's, uh, no. No, it's like they're cut. Uh, it's like usually red potatoes uh-huh. cut into like this quarters or may smaller. Go longer okay. than our nerd on. Yeah. <laughs> cut into quarters or um or smaller, and then dimes, sometimes dimes or nickels, and, and then um nickels you add cream of mushroom dimes. soup Idiot. and it maybe some good. like sour cream and bacon, Ooh. and then cover the top in cheddar cheese. And it's good. really good. It's really good. Uh, but we never like mashed potatoes is like a staple. Mm-hmm. And we never have it. Um, macaroni and cheese is That's too passe for the Hancock. That's I, I, given. I know. Uh, macaroni and cheese is delicious, and I think you should have it at any event, any meal, any meal, yeah. any meal. There you go. Uh, That's but truth. I do so, gospel. So at my Thanksgiving, I don't get those things normally with my family. Fucking stop going to that, that place. Thanksgiving, right? Thanksgiving? Uh, and and they like they roast the 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 turkey in the oven. And it's usually like pretty dry. For most of my life, I thought I just didn't like turkey. There's but the heart. I, and mm. then I smoke some, or <laughs> I have a fried turkey. Yeah, delicious. Save the I for have, me, Clark. I have actually had <laughs> really, really delicious good. turkey out of the oven, but it takes fucking work. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Make a moist yeah. turkey. It, yeah. You can dry it out really easily. Because really. you got to brine it, and you got to like inject you gotta, it. You got to do a lot of stuff. Really, no, Chris actually inject. makes a pretty goddamn good. Yeah, you turkey. just can't pop, pop a butterball out of the. Uh, no, no. Can't no, just yeah. pop it in and let it go. No. So you got to take care of it. Honestly. That potato casserole is one of the things that I enjoy at Thanksgiving. All right, that's Ray's. But yeah. also Mike. acre peas, just good old oh, fashioned God, yeah. acre peas. Oh, I love yeah. acre peas. Mm-hmm. Now, if you guys want turkeys? There's a there's a bunch of them out there by that's, my house. That just sounds like Ray in the morning. The he field. got that old acre pea. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, uh, <laughs> acre peas. Uh, stuffing. Uh, yes, okay. I, I'm yeah. a big stuffing fan. Uh, my mom uh, the makes it? it homemade. Uh, we have a giblet and no giblet. We have a uh, we have a pecan and no pecan stuffing. But now I want pecans in my, my really I've never good. Had that pecans sounds. Stuffing. I've only honestly good. had one stuffing that I liked. My mom makes a stuffing and she well, swears what by you it. Just said, I sound like your Thanksgiving is horrible. No, I, I, I honestly <laughs> think it is, and I think for years I just thought. Um, I thought I didn't. I just didn't like Thanksgiving food. You're but don't. I think my family just makes bad Thanksgiving. You guys food. walk the line like of child abuse why. with with what you. <laughs> you couldn't it was watch. quiet protest of the rape of Native American yeah. land. Yeah. Couldn't watch Mel Brooks movies. <laughs> had terrible Thanksgiving. Yeah. I'm yeah. surprised that you're even somewhat a fun fun to be around. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm surprised you're not like a foosball <laughs> enthusiast or something. <laughs> Or it like sounds you, like I need to come to one of y'all's Thanksgivings is what it yeah. sounds like. Collect Argyle get sweaters. That, get some of that cigarettes, too. <laughs> yeah. Chuck, Chuck, what's your favorite song? Oh, man, uh, we had some American we Buffalo. We haven't had it in good branch. probably about seven years since my dad had a stroke, but I remember growing up, five o'clock every morning, my dad would wake me up. I would have to peel and cut up the apples and then break apart the the maple sausage and Italian sausage and literally help my dad make his apple sausage stuffing. Oh, nice. Dude, it's... He doesn't have a recipe. Apple he always sausage I love a, stuffing. Oh, God, yeah, dude. A good sausage stuffing is yeah. really good. He would use Jimmy Dean maple and Italian sausage. We use Granny Smith and Red Delicious apples. Onion, celery, bread, and then he would just... I don't know what he did. He never wrote down exactly how much went in it. All I know, there was Old Bay and, like, four other seasonings. Mm. That was it. And, dude, it was one of the things that went by first Yeah, out of everything. We'd be run, We'd be out of stuffing. We'd still have mashed potatoes, macaroni. We'd still have turkey. The <laughs> stuffing would go Wait, first. This is sounds it sounds like, like you and Ray to, should combine the house. <laughs> no, 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 no. My mom, I loved her homemade mac and cheese, but my dad's stuffing was amazing. Yeah. It, there were no leftovers of that at mom, all. This, sounds this good. is delicious. It it, it, but it was stuffing makes it taste send, like shit. Because <laughs> it was sweet, but it had that, a savory aspect to it with the different sausage mom, to it. It's like mom, it was, there's this was poor amazing. boy at school, and he doesn't get macaroni and cheese <laughs> and mashed potatoes <laughs> for Thanksgiving. Can we give these to him? Well, I the thing never, is, the reason why, why the reason why I'd like why the would mac you and cheese. even have fucking Thanksgiving and not have mashed potatoes? What the fuck is the I use? Don't I don't know. You know what? You should fucking raise some cane this year at Thanksgiving. Well, I, like, I've, I've tried. Ray just huffs it's, in every year made. with a big old thing of mashed potatoes <laughs> that he refuses to share with anybody. He's like, it's all right. But no, my mom is, normally makes her mac and cheese, her homemade mac and cheese throughout the year. Yeah. So it's we, we normally will eat that 
Oh, my no. dad's stuffing, it was one time. He didn't do it for Christmas. It was just Thanksgiving. God and that was his it. work for, for Thanksgiving. He'd he make made it that five. Up. He'd be done with it by six, put it in the turkey, <gasps> wait for my mom to put the turkey in the oven. Shit, and that he was put his it in day. the turkey. Yeah. No. The stuffing, yeah. I um, See, my was, family doesn't he, even actually stuff the stuffing. Oh, you have to, because oh, then gosh. you have all the juice from the chicken she from would the turkey the, just going into she it. She takes the juices But he also had a casserole also. She takes the juice from the turkey. Yeah, while it cooking it and puts yeah. it in with all the cornbread. That's how my mom would always do it. Man, with the stuffing got like, right out of a turkey is just amazing. I guess yeah. at that point it's dressing as opposed to tur- uh, stuffing. No, it's oh, stuffing because yeah. you, you stuff the turkey. No, 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 I guess I'm it's saying dressing. what my mom yeah. makes is uh, dressing, not stuffing. She makes yeah, wrong. I guess Nate. we make dressing as well because we don't stuff it in the turkey. Yeah. Nate. Oh, man, we used to get this beautiful uh, can of yams and I, mm-hmm. I i open it up and just plop it out and it would just sit there and no one ever ate it <laughs> and every year i go why do you do that mom and she what? goes it's just passion of yams no, yeah, i like, have yams <laughs> is that what you said is it yeah, yeah. it's yams right the, yeah. cranberry yeah. sauce no no, no, said no. Yams. yams okay who Sweet who pans. uses the cranberry sauce from the can i'll eat it and use, they would just I'll plop spoon. it out no i use both out. Okay, we have yeah. both every year. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, no, I, I'm 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 a dressing guy myself. That's Jellied or whole berry, both. Yeah. Jellied, and, and that's yeah. the best part because you cut off the top of the can and mm-hmm. then you fucking poke a hole in the bottom of it, yep. and blow yep. the jelly out. Mm-hmm. It's so much fun. So you're a dressing guy, yeah? And you said Christy favorite. makes a pretty good dressing or a pretty good turkey. No, her turkey's good. Or dressing shit. The shit Mine is <laughs> someone else always makes a dressing. Oh, uh, um, I, 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 since my mom's passed, I did. I haven't had a good dressing. Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. Mine is, it, I'm going to go with mashed potatoes and, and turkey gravy because... Oh, uh, yeah. And you get some good lumpy skin on the potatoes. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. yeah. Do you just, have to... To me, you have to leave skin to on me, the cream sandwich. cheese and, and butter and everything mix. Yeah, I, when I make my mashed potatoes, I mix cream cheese into it. Oh, absolutely. Really? If you yes. don't mix cream oh, cheese, God, you got to yes. mix like sour cream. You got to yeah, have something. sour cream and, and heavy whipping cream instead of milk. It's going to sound crazy. Yeah, whipping cream. Get that oh, cream yeah. cheese I never would have thought of. Um, you can also put like mayonnaise and stuff That's in that. That's bullshit. <laughs> no, you can't. No, thank you. <laughs> Not doing the mayonnaise. And if, you, you, if, if you're in a pinch and you have to, you can. No. but Just throw it out. I've done... I've probably done mayonnaise in a lot of foods you haven't known about, and you'll never know. And, and that's another thing that you can do with mashed mayonnaise potatoes as well. And the waffles. It, it sounds and the it sounds sacrilegious Chilly. almost, but, but you can mix half a box of instant mashed potatoes in there too. Heresy. Yeah. No, no, nah, you can. Ones. Oh, you can. You can do a this lot is of things. things. You can do. Yeah. You can also but it, take you a big old enough shit potato <laughs> too. It it it, it makes it it makes it creamier. Yeah. And you get you get the lumps and the cream. It's just great. So uh, let, let, let's yeah, the go turkey off of gravy. This. Are you using getting some of the good? Oh yeah, giblet juice out of it. Oh yeah, oh, you have that giblet oh, yeah. gravy. Yeah, the yeah. giblet gravy. Mm-hmm. So let, let's they, go yeah. to this. I like my mashed potatoes like a life. Do y'all have ham? Do y'all have ham at your Thanksgiving? No, no. Ham is not a Thanksgiving. That's a uh, Chris, that was a Christmas. Ham is thing. Easter That's, food. Yeah, we'll it's have Christmas ham, or Easter. We'll have ham sometimes. Of course you will. I don't love the. <laughs> I don't like the ham. turkey. Oh, I love ham. No, I love another uh, side dish I'd usually make at Thanksgiving was I would get a, a turkey breast and mm-hmm. cut it into chunks. This doesn't sound like a side. Marinate it in uh, Italian dressing, and then flour it and deep fry them in little turkey nuggets and stuff like that. And that'd be like your snack. I expect that for okay. Friendsgiving now. Yeah, and that's your <laughs> snack. All kind of while you're making all the other food and everything. Yeah. So you eat that as your snack. All throughout the day. All right. No, was, I love so that. So deep fried Italian turkey bites. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. No, seriously, friends giving bring that. What else okay. you got on the the, the no, Any more questions? That's that's the questions, but let's talk more about food. God bless. <laughs> this is the longest podcast ever. It might be. I don't think it is. Guys, have a good oh, evening. God, We're done. Bye. No intermissions on this one. We'll be back in one week. Nerds Who Get Late Sometimes is recorded at the illustrious Big Brown Record Town Studios in beautiful downtown Lake City. Episodes are published each Monday on iTunes, Stitcher, Podbean, and Google Play. You can like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash nerds who get laid. We're at nerds who get laid on Twitter and Instagram. We're part of the Geeks Worldwide Podcast Network. You can find reviews and articles we write at thegww.com. We're also part of the Modest Pod Podcast Network. We're on floridageekscene.com and also we be geek geekspc.com please subscribe rate and review us on itunes stitcher radio and podbean you can also check out the show notes for links about things we talked about in this episode thanks so much
This has been a production of the GWW Radio Network. Please don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review us on iTunes, Stitcher, and SoundCloud. Also, check out Geeks Worldwide at the GWW.com for all the latest news, reviews, and opinions on video games, comics, movies, TV, cosplay, and more. Geeks Assemble!